I hear a roar. Shalom, shalom. We are the real Hebrew Israelites coming to you week in and week out to prophesy the downfall and destruction of this wicked, sinful place called America. You know, but before we go any further, we like to give all honor, all glory, and all praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Next up, the honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach us this truth according to the Bible and who rule well, and a double shalom to all you who say, I came out there, shalom. Oh. We're going to start off like we always do, the real 12 tribes of Israel. First up, Judah, so-called Negroes, Benjamin, so-called Jamaican and West Indian, Levi, so-called Haitian, Simeon, the so-called Dominican, Zebulun, so-called Panamanian, Ephraim, the so-called Puerto Rican, Manasseh, the so-called Cuban, Gad, the so-called North American Indian tribe. Reuben, the so-called Sooner Indian. Nathalie, the so-called indigenous people to Argentina and Chile. Asher, the so-called indigenous people to Colombia and Uruguay. And last but not least, Issachar, so-called Mexican. See us up on the sign, repent, and come back to the law, statutes, and commitment to the Bible, because America will be destroyed in your lifetime. That's right, that's right. You know, this the service to prophets. You know, me, all about our shot. It's coming out here on the highways and hedges to do. You speak the prophecies according to the scriptures. Come on, little bit. Um, right? Somebody go home to your second air just nine and one. You got something about it? Yeah. It's Romans 13 and 11. It says, and that knowing the time, yeah. that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. Now, how are you going to know the time? That's the spirit because I told the, uh, told the brother, the whole second air just nine and one. Right. By, by, the, by the scriptures. As a matter of fact, bring it out. Yep. Uh, second air just nine and one. Yep. He answered me then and said, yep. measure thou the time diligently in itself. And what's the measuring tool? The scriptures. Mm -hmm. All right? So that knowing the time, you know, according to the biblical prophecy of what's going to befall us in these last days, we know we're living in bad times, man. Mm -hmm. So it's now time to wake out of sleep. Now it's talking about spiritually, meaning coming out of the ways and thinking like an American, man. And come back to being a Hebrew Israelite right. in the mind, spiritually. All right, because although our people are phys uh, physically Israelites, but it matters with you uh, spiritually, man. It says, yeah, this is um, Isaiah, Salakia. Isaiah chapter 1, verse 3. The ox knoweth his owner, yeah. and the ass is master's crib, yeah. but Israel doeth not know. Right, but the Israelites, the so called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians, and also the Israelite foreigners scattered abroad, man. All right, the Lord compared uh, people to two stubborn animals, man. All right, they know who their owner is. They know who feeds them, and they're loyal to them. All right, but our people, the Israelites, don't know the Lord because the Lord blinded them. All right, because he didn't want them to receive the truth. It says, my people do if not consider. My people do if not consider, which means to think carefully, man. Consider, like, it, it, the ways I'm living my life, you know what I'm saying? Is it the right way to live or the bad way to live? All right. If the Lord was to come back today, is it going to be power of what I'm doing? All right. A lot of people don't consider that, man. A lot of people just go on with their lives, doing what they want to do, uh, uh, trusting in their own mind. Yeah, because you look at that word consider, it goes back to ponder, to think upon. We tell our people that they're the Hebrew Israelites, so called Negroes, Latins, and Native Americans. They're like, nah, I'm black. You know what I'm saying? But with that being black, then I'm African American. With that being African American. I'm Latino, uh, so forth and so on, you know what I'm saying? I'm Native American Indian. Those are 
proverbs and bywords that was put on you due to the curses, man. He, 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 he'll eat them little motherfuckers, right? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, look, can't handle that. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Trying to do too much. Yeah, yeah. Our people can sit and look, look trying, to, uh, trying to be seen of people, right? Mm -hmm. Nah, you know what I'm saying? Nah, look, man. Yeah, no. that, thing, that thing ready to devour, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know? Come on, man. It, it, it's too much. There ain't nothing but folly out here. Yeah, yeah. Our people don't even consider who they are. We out here week in and week out with signs. But um, er everything that you see, then not people know who they are. It's, it's like, why not go the other way, though? You know what I'm saying? Ain't any hell, yo. <laughs> it is really, really true, though, right, man? It, it, it's too much, man. Can't, oh, can't hold nothing down. I think I'll drag you down the street. Why are you out here? Right. Go ahead, though, brother. Right, man. See, and that's an example right there. You see the service the prophets out here, and what do they want to do? They want to go walk down the street. No, uh, they can't handle that dog, man. All right? These dogs were these vicious animals, these beasts, you know what I'm yep. saying? That was, a, that was a beast right there, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Gonna devour us on come, yep. man. That, that thing gonna overthrow you some, because it's overthrowing you now. Right. Yep. It ain't even really doing that, but just chilling. And her little dog gonna get ate up forever. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. I made several fast just for camera's sake. That was a great thing. Yeah, it was great things on our huge dog. Right. You know? Second Ezra 9 and 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. Right, yeah, and that's what the watchmen are going to do. They're going to watch out for the prophecies that's according to the scriptures. All right, that's why we constantly watch the news, the breaking news, headline news, undercover ground news. You see what I'm saying? To, 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 to uh, see the times that we're living in, man. See how close the Lord Yahweh is about to return. Well, your house, y'all told us to do uh, the watch as well as pray. It says, and when thou seest part of the signs pass. Right, when you see the prophecies coming to pass, as we're seeing, you know, popping off like popcorn, uproar to the peoples, earthquakes, you know, so on and so forth, the pushing of that biz marquee, okay, that spider juice. Which I have told thee before. The jab shooter. Oh boy, that's you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's one of the new names. Uh, Jab Judah. Right. <laughs> it, says, it says, which I have told thee before, yeah. 2nd Ezra 9 and 2, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Right, yeah, see, as you're watching the signs, you're watching the prophecies unfold, you knowing that Lord Yahweh Shah is coming closer and closer, man. All right? Now, Yahweh Shah is already visiting these people, which means to judge or to punish, but he's going to do it in a big way once he returns to the angels, man. All right? I got a precept. St. Matthew chapter 24, verse 3. And as he sat upon that, that's what you had. St. Matthew chapter 24, verse 3. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, uh, 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 1 Thessalonians 5 and 1. Tell us, when shall these things be? Right, yeah, they, they, the, the, the disciples was like, they went to a secret place where y'all was shot. They was like, when are these things going to be? We're dealing with time, right? Yep, yep, We're yep. dealing with time, yo. Yep. But oh yeah, remember those false prophets say, um, yeah, stop asking when your release date going to come. You in prison, you stay in prison. You know what I'm saying? No, no yeah, we in prison, but we want to know when we're going to get released. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Who in their right mind don't want to get released? You know what I'm saying? Right. Don't want to know when release date is. You know what I'm right. saying? Right. Oh, yeah, it says, um, the, um, Prisoner hastens for the day of his um, to release of his captivity. Some to the effect, just roughly paraphrasing, roughly paraphrasing. A man is locked up, most definitely wants to know when he's getting the hell out, man. Right. Straight up, man. Because if it look, if it ain't no, if it ain't getting up, there's no hope. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yep. There's, there's no hope for anything, man. Just coming out there. You locked up forever. Somebody like yo, you locked up for the rest of your life. You ain't never getting up. Ain't nothing to hope for now. Now, now, now I might well turn into a, a wild animal now. Yeah. I might well turn into a beast, right? I might well stay beast mode now. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Cause look, ain't no civilizing me no more. Yeah. I'm not gonna go out into this so-called civilization no more. Yeah. I might well act a fool. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That's right. Yeah. Stay, you made a beautiful, beautiful right. point. When you get locked up, like you said, you want to know your time when your release date. Yeah. Why is that? So when that release date comes, you're on your best behavior. Yeah. We're supposed to be on our best behavior. Right. You know what I'm saying? You know the Lord is coming back. Our release date is up. So we will, we'll, we'll clean our garments. Right. right. Yeah, yeah, a guy, you know what I'm saying? You're a beautiful point, bro. A guy that don't know when it's released. A guy that you don't know if he going to, well, pretty much a guy that know that he ain't going to never get out, that ain't got no release date, he's buck wild. He's an animal. 
Right. But a guy that knows his release date, look, he acting accordingly. He like, yo, my date is here. I, I'm staying away from trouble. Mm -hmm. yeah. That release date is coming surely, but uh, surely, but surely. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. So it's like we acting accordingly. The warden is about to say, look, look, get out. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. You haven't been acquitted. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. You, you did your time. That's what's, that's what's gonna happen when the Lord pop up on the scene. You done did your time. Lord, one we have that number to get released from hell, man. Right. I'm sorry, but another great point. Because you are an infraction, they call it infraction in prison. Mm -hmm. And a sleazy wants you to keep getting infractions. Right. You know, by taking his uh, jab, Judah, that's an infraction to the Lord, man. Right. You, you ain't doing nothing about fighting in prison. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, right, you just right, got into right. another fight. Yeah, right, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Oh. So look, now you done added five more years yeah, to the prison yeah, sentence. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Now yeah. you in the hole. You know what I'm saying? Lord willing, we'll get released off of good behavior. Right, you know what I'm saying, right, bro? That's, that's right. right. We'd have put in the time right, already. Spiritually, though, you know? Uh, you got it all right. I know you see And I want to finish um, this off, but you yeah, go ahead. Come on, God. Acts 1 and 6. When they therefore were come together, they asked of him, saying, Lord, Without at this time restore again the kingdom of Israel. So, you know, that's the mindset of the hopeful elect. You just get to say, um, where your heart is, there will your treasure be also. Right, bro. So the mindset of hopeful elect is gonna be when is the kingdom coming? Hasten. You know, hasten the coming. Yep. That's the mindset, man. Yep. To get right so we can get early release and Lord willing be part of that first dominion, the first fruits. Right. To get beaten up in the chariots. That's right. <laughs> Sit on that. What is so, that? Time served. Right. Time served. Time served. Time served. Yo. Mm -hmm. Same Matthew chapter twenty-four verse three. Yep. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, "Tell us, when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming, and the end of the world?" The world, world, there is age, man. Right. Aeon. So when is this devil gonna come out of rulership, man? Right. And during the time of when Loyalish was on the scene, the Edomites was ruling then. Right. So they was like, listen, when is it gonna be the, the time that this devil goes down, man? Right. Uh, forever, okay? When are you gonna return and, and, and establish uh, righteousness on the earth again? Because the kingdom of heaven is gonna be an everlasting rulership. Right. Mm -hmm. it, it would never end. Yep. All yep. these ancient kingdoms, they ended sooner or later, right? Yeah. They all came to an end. Because right. why they was wicked, man. Yep. Uh, a, a wicked kingdom would never rule forever, man. That's right. uh, a righteous, perfect kingdom will, will withstand the test of time. That's right. You can't destroy a perfect kingdom, man. Exactly. All right? right? You know, the Lord said, I will not um, pretty much put away a just man, a righteous man. But for him that is wicked, you know what I'm saying, and abominable, he pretty much going to get away from You know what I'm saying? So this, this kingdom is far from perfect. You know what I'm saying? This kingdom, right. don't even put the word perfect in the same sentence as this kingdom right here, man. This is that wicked, sinful kingdom. Known as Babylon the Great, you know what I'm saying? The, the mother of hearts, which the Lord said, you know what I'm saying? He got the angels watching, he's gonna destroy us on coming, man. But look though, as the days of Noah and mm -hmm. the days of Lot, they're eating, they're drinking, yep. they're celebrating. Yep. Right. The, city, the city locked down today, man. It's flooded out here today, man. Mm -hmm. But everybody, you know what I'm saying, showing their folly, yo. Yep. Everybody just gotta come out today. Me and the Lord out today. What, what right. it is. Right. What it is. So what are that around? No, you were that was the end of that? Oh, yeah, man. I'll read it one more time, Jacob. You, you make your stay. Yeah. Read it one more time. Yeah. 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 About the kingdom of heaven. Read that again. Oh, yeah. Acts. Yeah, read it. Acts. Acts. Oh. You had read that, but I hadn't performed them since I was speaking. I hadn't got back to mind. Yeah. Uh, like we need to hear that one more time. Acts. And everybody out here is sick as hell. Everybody walking around with um, the canes in their arms, and everybody either walking, riding around in a wheelchair. Because all this concrete, man. This concrete is literally tearing our bodies to shreds, man. Ligaments through, man. All right? These so called D O C T O R, you know what I'm saying? And you're here to help you. You got to spell everything out there. Right. Then look, at least you know right there the Bible is 100% real. Right. You know what I'm saying? Anytime you can't speak according to the Bible no more, then you know the Bible real. That's right. You know what I'm saying? That's right. I don't think the Bible real. Well, why we can't speak according to it then? What are the video being flagged? I know, right? You know what I'm saying? Without someone saying, oh, yeah, that's hate speech. It's the Bible. Mm -hmm. right. I thought this was the law of the land, man. Right. But you got it, right. bro. Yep. Acts 1 and 6. When they therefore were come together, they asked of him, saying, Lord, will thou at this time restore again the kingdom of heaven? Well, you know, and now people think the kingdom of heaven is here. So, so only the whole for elect is asking this question right here. You know what I'm saying? The majority of our people, they think they're already in heaven already, man. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And, and they don't, don't want to leave it, right? That's why they're doing anything to further this enterprise. Yep. They think this is heaven, bro. They think it can't get no better than this. That's why they like, that's why they like this. Yep. You know what I'm saying? That's why that woman said, I don't give a damn what's in it. 
You know what I'm saying? I don't give a damn who made it, what's in it, where they come from, how they look, or none of that. I don't care if they retarded. I don't right, care. Right, right. I don't care if they put uh, the serpent's piss in it. Right. Give it to me. You know what right, I'm saying? Because right, right. they, they think this is heaven, man. Right. But the disciples, you know what I'm saying, ask the Lord, when would the kingdom of heaven be established on the face of the earth, man? Right. Mm -hmm. The disciples knew pretty well, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. they, they knew damn well that the Romans, you know what I'm saying, and the Roman uh, pretty much enterprise was in the kingdom of heaven. Man. That's right. And there was the same men coming back saying the same thing 2021, man. We know this ain't the kingdom of heaven, man. Right. Come on, man. Right. In the kingdom of heaven, women gonna have clothes on, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? In the kingdom of heaven, you will not be worshiping idols or none of that, man. Right. Right. I mean, we could go on and go on for days, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? But the disciples want to know, we want to know, man. Right. Right. And I'm going right back here in St. Matthew, the 24th chapter. I'll uh, read his. Right. Oh, no, was it around? Yeah, that's it. Let's uh, answer the uh, brother's question, because you said that, um, you know, our people was inquiring, you know, when, 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 when yeah. we're going to get the kingdom, Lord. Yeah. Inquiring minds, we want to know. Yeah. Well, a certain prophecy has to be fulfilled. This is 2 Thessalonians 2 and, and yeah. 3. It says, let no man deceive you yeah. by any means, yeah. for that day shall not come, except there come a, fall, a falling away first. And that happened, all right? We had to uh, fulfill that prophecy. Right. Of us going, uh, losing our heritage, you know, the besiege, you know, slavery, so on and so forth, man. We had, we had to... Uh, that prophecy had to be fulfilled in order for uh, the kingdom to happen to come, man. That's right. You know, and we still got uh, prophecies, you know what I'm saying, still got to come to pass before the end of this rulership, man. Mm -hmm. okay. I got a precept. Jeremiah 17 and 4. Yep. And thou, even thyself, shall, can, shall discontinue from thy heritage. Right, see? So the Lord was like, listen, you're going to discontinue from your heritage, man. All right? Knowing that you're a Hebrew Israelite, keeping right. the law, statutes, and commandments, living a righteous life. Right. Okay, according to what the scriptures say, you're gonna discontinue from that. Right. You know, and that happened during that time that Kabbalah is reading, man. That's right. You know, when we when we uh went into slavery, you know, the besiege of uh, 70 AD, mm -hmm. you know, so on and so forth, man. That that's that, that's that time the big boys reading right here. Look, the brother ready, our father on way had to come first. We had to lose our way, we had to forget our power and everything, man. That's and right. go through pure hell. You know what I'm saying? In order for the kingdom of heaven to be established on the face of the earth. We went through rough waters, like the scriptures have said, right? right. It says, um, and, look, and, um, and at that time, Jeremiah knew who he was. So this scripture right here is a reincarnation scripture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jeremiah knew who he was, man, all right? Jeremiah forgot who he was. Now he's somewhere on the face of the earth, he walked the four corners of the earth, wherever he is, he know who he is now. Because yeah. yeah. going right back to the scripture, it says, um, in the land of my captivity, in the land of our captivity, I can hold that right quick. They should remember themselves. I think it's Baruch, um, third chapter, in, or the second chapter. I ain't read it in a little while. But yeah, I'm gonna read this again. Jeremiah, chapter, um, and then, um, uh, full of finish the program, which you can get that right there. You know what I'm saying? Jeremiah 17 and 4. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thy heritage that I gave thee. Right. Yeah, all by Shimon Shah gave us the heritage of being the Hebrew River, like man. Right. So we were the only nation that received the laws that just commandments that separates us from the other heathen nations. Right. All right. So the Lord was like this, you know, like big brother, that's going to be a foundation right, right. there, man. And I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land. It's like, no, 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 no. Go ahead. Yeah. And I will cause thee to serve thine enemies yeah. in the land which thou knowest not. That prophecy did fulfill, man. All right. We had to go into the transatlantic slave trade, all, all types of other slavery. You know what I'm saying? Because that prophecy had to be fulfilled. That's how you know it's getting ready to go down. Yep. Because everything the Lord said was going to happen, happened, bro. Yep. Yep. In real time, man. Yep. Yep. You know what I'm saying? The Lord said we're going to discontinue from our heritage. We're going to serve enemies. You know what I'm saying? Worship wood, stone, yep. things of that nature. We did that. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. This last part, it says, um, which thou knowest not, for ye have kindled a fire in my anger, which shall burn forever. That word forever just a period of time. It's not talking about for all eternity, man. Because right. now, you know, because if that was the case, we wouldn't even have this done right now. Right. Right. If the Lord, you know what I'm saying, won't deal with us for all eternity, and the Hebrew is what we're done away with, well, why, why do we know who we are right about now? Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Who is done away with, and how the hell we know who we are right about now? We took out the 20. You know what I'm saying? Right. And why the hell are we rehearsing the right to act? If we don't know if the Hebrew Israelites were done away with. Right. Come on, man. Right. Too much going on in the spirit right about them. Right. What's to be done away with? Right. We're acting according to the scripture right. say we're going to be acting like. Right. You know what I'm saying? In right. these times. Right. Come on, man. Right. 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 Right
You know what I'm saying? We don't bring people to court and carry Right, right. Right. You know? You got that on rock? Yeah, I got it. Them get that. Baruch 2 and 32. And they shall praise thee in the land of their captivity. Oh, it's like, uh, 30? Yeah, 30. 30. Uh, Baruch 2 and 30. Right. I knew that they would not hear me yeah. because it is a stiff, stiff necked people. Going into our people, man. Y'all about to shout like, listen, you know, our people are the Israelites. You're so funny. You go about to make the American Indians. You know, stiff necked people, man. Rebellious, stubborn. You know, to this very day, that they're going to the two-thirds of our people. Verse 30, read on verse 30. But in the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves. But in the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves, man. We're still in slavery, right? We're still right. in captivity. But we remember ourselves while right. we're here, man. That's right. And y'all by Shalom Shah let that, uh, had to let that prophecy be fulfilled as well. That was, a, that was a form of prophecy that had to come to pass, man. That's right. Right. Us losing our heritage and us getting it back. By the grace of the all by Shimon Shah. Being scattered, so plus we were the only nation that we was scattered to the four points of the earth. That's right. We the only ones that fit their prophecy. That's right. The so called Negroes, Latin, and Native Americans, we the only nation that's been scattered toward the four corners of the earth. Look, by way of Cargo Slave Ship. That's right. Oh, I got a precept right quick and then I'll rock and finish that. Second Ezra chapter 2, verse 7. Let them be scattered abroad among the heathen. Right, that's going into our people, the Israelites. All right, and that's also in Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter. Right. Yeah. Yeah, that we was going to be scattered yeah. among the other heathen yeah. nations to serve their gods, man. That's a prophecy that also can be fulfilled right. about our people. It says, let them be scattered abroad among the heathen. Yep. Then look, look, let their name be put out on the earth. This can change from my heritage, right? Let their name be put out of yep. earth, man. That's a heavy scripture right there, man. Who lost their heritage out of all these Hebrews, uh, man? The Hebrew right. Israelites, Israel. all these other nations, they know who the hell they are. They, they know who they pretty much their forefathers go back to. That's right. right. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, like the Arabs, they know their forefathers go back to Israel. That's you know right. what I'm saying? Yep. Uh, the Dahir East Indians, they know they, their forefathers go back to Elon. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Things of that nature, man. Yep. Yeah. Sleaze and eat. Yep. Yep. The elites. Yep. The elites. Yep. The so-called yep. elites on the left, man. They know their forefathers go back to Sleaze and eat, man. Esau eat. Right. Jacob discontinued from his heaven and lost everything. Yeah. Our name was put out on the earth. And ain't that going right back to Psalms in 83rd chapter? Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That that yeah. name of Israel would be no more remembered. That's right. You see, they forgot about prophecy. They forgot about Everybody about forgot about prophecy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everybody yeah. forgot about Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shot, man. Right. It's controlling everything. Right. The fallen had to come away first, man. Right. Right. It says, um, for for they have despised my covenant. Right, right. they have despised the covenants, man. The agreement that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shot made with our All right. So y'all by Shemar Shah allowed us to discontinue from my heritage going to slavery underneath these other heathen nations. Right. But it was prophecy that we was going to get it back as well, right. man. Right. Okay? And only the elect of the nation of Israel is going to cling to it and endure to the end. It's all about time. It's all about time. Look, look, um, going right back to Ecclesiastes, the third chapter, to everything there's a season. That's right. And every purpose up under the sun, mm -hmm. up under the heavens. You got winter, spring, summer, and fall. Yep. You had a discontinuation, you know what I'm yep. saying? Then you had a... Um, uh, uprise, you know what I'm saying? Quam Yasha Allah, restore, yep. Yep. So, so now yep. the whole world's in a frizzy, frizzy right about right. now because right. we didn't find out who we are, man. Right. Right. The world's been turned upside down now, man. Yep. Right. More legislation, you know what I'm saying? More YouTube laws. Yep. They going they going all in. Right. Then we didn't find out who we are, you know what I'm saying? So when we didn't know who we were, you know what I'm saying? Then it was um, black American festivals and all that, Latino fest and all that, right? But now right. that we know who they are, you know what I'm saying? Circus and bread, pretty much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As much information is coming out according to the Bible, they need to throw more circus and bread to the people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, flood the internet and flood the TV screens with nonsense, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. can't, can't, have them, can't have the men of the Lord out there yeah. flooding that internet like that, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. That's why that's why our videos are pretty much being blacklisted. Uh -huh. But it's all good because the Lord wanted to be blacklisted. Uh -huh. Remember, the Lord controlling everything. So if your videos or your pages are being blacklisted, that's the Lord don't want the majority of the Israelites right to see right. the video. Right. You got it all, bro. Going back to Baruch 2 and 31. And shall I know, it's like it, and shall know that I am the Lord their power, for I will give them an heart and ears to hear. Mm -hmm. Verse 32. Which that's going into the elect, man. That's right. The only the elect of the nation of Israel is when they hear the truth, they're gonna uh it's gonna it's gonna stick to them. You know what I'm saying? They're gonna build themselves up to the spirit of yep. Yahweh and then endure to the end and be saved by Lord Yahweh Shah. 
verse 32. And they shall praise me yeah. in the land of their captivity. And we're doing that now. Okay? When we teach the word, you know what I'm saying? You know, we always say in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. You know, I know Big Bro right here always, you know, pushes that be a thankful spirit, man. Because Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah don't need us, man. Right, right, we need right. the Lord. Right. Okay? So right now, we're praising Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah right now when we teach. Just that is, you know, right there. Because remember, uh, we read earlier, the falling away had to come first. Yep. We were praising you how about Shemuel Shah, we was praising God and Jesus Christ. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Some of us was praising Buddha and Allah, Santa Maria, and all that other nonsense. The Lord said, I knew they weren't going to hear me. There's a stiff necked people. But in the land of their captivity, no matter what Israel scattered at, I just read they were scattered among the heathens. Yep. No matter where they at, the whole for elective the nation of Israel is calling on Yahweh by Shemuel Shah. Right. They're not worshiping idols anymore, yep. craving images and things of that nature. Not practicing the customs of the heathens, man. But we had to go through that, you know what I'm saying, just to get to the point to where we're at now. Right. It is beautiful, man. Right. This is a beautiful story. Yep. I mean, yep. we call hell in this story now. Uh -huh. We got a little bit more hell to go through, but it's still a beautiful story, though, man. Right, this, right. this mercy that we've been showing right about now, man, you know what I'm saying, That's, that pretty much succeeds the hell that we've been catching, yeah, man. You right. know what I'm saying, that mercy, mm -hmm. you think about it, it, it succeeds, you know what I'm saying, the hell that you've been catching the yep. whole time, man. The mercy that's, that's been shown to us right about now. Man. And if I could just say, it makes you appreciate uh, the blessings and the mercy as well. Yep. All, all the hell we went through is gonna make you appreciate the kingdom even more. Yep. Make you appreciate the truth. Even yep. being in hell, we still got a truth. Brothers waking up happy, man. Yep. Happy is the man who um, get it with. Yep. Make you appreciate your brothers more. Mm -hmm. yep. It's like it's like these ain't niggas that you're around. Right. These ain't ninjas. These brothers. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. These are choice men. You know what I'm saying? That the mm -hmm. heavenly Father gave His only begotten Son that you're dealing with. So most definitely, you better be happy and thankful right. that the Lord put you around those men. Yeah. Look at the other Israelite groups, man. Right. Look at the other Israelite groups, man. Look at those guys, man. Look at those men that you got to be around. You, you want to be around those guys? Right. Instead of men like this, starting off with the head apostles, slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, you rather be around knuckleheads, right? right. You know what I'm saying? Then, then choice men, Lord willing, we of that number that's been handpicked by the Heavenly Father and give it to His only begotten Son, Lord Yahweh Shai, man. Right. All right? right? Don't right. get no better than that, man. Don't get any better. Right. You got right. it, bro. Come on, read um, Ruth 2 and 32. And they shall praise me in the land of their captivity and think upon my name. Uh -oh. See, they look, they, they at least forgot about that. Yep. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Yep. They forgot, yep. a falling away came, yep. but they forgot about this right here. Yep. You know what I'm saying? The Lord waking us yep. up and having us praise Him in the land of our captivity. Yep. They, they can fathom that, man. Because yep. remember, the apostles said they was on 34th yep. and on um, 7th, one yep. year, a yep. couple years back, yep. well, years back. Yep. You know what I'm saying? One of their leaks pulled up in a limo, mm -hmm. hopped out mad as hell. You yep. know what I'm saying? Ran up, seen all the signs. Yeah. What the hell is going on? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We, look, look, we paid bills. They found out. We paid billions. <laughs> We pay billions, you know what I'm saying, yeah. to keep this information away from y'all. That's how you know he hopped in the car, slammed the door hard as hell to us about to fall off, you know what I'm saying? And then went and then spit down the damn street, man. And got the hell out of there, man. That's when they knew the, the ball game now, man. Yeah, they knew it was ball, ball game, game yeah. then, man. You know? And, it, and it's been full throttle ever since, man. And we're thankful, you know what I'm saying, that the Lord, you know what I'm saying, woke us up and brought us into the ministry, mm -hmm. man. That's right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? This, the, right. this is the most honorable job that you can ever have mm -hmm. on the right. face of the earth. These people in these corporations right here, you know what I'm saying? They think highly of themselves because they're managers, they're owners, they're right. CEOs, they're whatever. Part of that company, man. Yep. Shit, well, the same thing with us, man. Yep. The positions, you know what I'm saying, that we have been given through the spirit of your high bush, you know right. We're thankful for it, man. Right. We're traded for nothing in the world. You see? Well, right. Uh, well. <laughs> uh, verse 33. It says, in return from their stiff neck. Hold on, you go, you go back to, that, go back to 32. Uh, Con. Baruch 2 and 32, yep. and they shall praise me in the land of their captivity yep. and think upon my name. And think upon my name. Mm -hmm. That name is going to be given back to them, man. That's right. Okay? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh not not Jesus and, and God and Buddha, Allah, and all these other false idols that our people worship. Right. right. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah say, I'm going to give you back my name. That okay? Right. That's that mark of an exemplary judgment in Ezekiel the ninth chapter. That's put on the elect of the nation of Israel that's going to sincerely call upon those names. Say the elect will praise his name. Yep. I mean, we ain't gonna play, we ain't gonna play around when it comes to the Lord's name. Right. If I, if I can get that, I get it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But you can read on though. Uh, uh, verse 33. And return from their stiff neck yep. and from their wicked deeds. They're gonna repent. Okay. And then when they come back uh to their heritage, they're gonna regret and feel sorry for the things they were doing in the world. Yep. Right? Just like we do. Okay, the things that we was doing in the world, man, when we come in this shoot, like, you, you, 
we regret all that, right? Man. Know, right? He was like, I wish I never did that, but right. the Lord had to take us through that to get us where we're at now. That's right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Got a precept right quick. So, so Rock chapter 15, verse 13. The Lord hate of all abominations. The Lord do what, Mr. Jones? The Lord hate of all abominations. The God of the Bible hates, man. And it says all abominations, man. Which abomination goes into a wicked, filthy act. Right. That are contrary to the scriptures. That's right. Right. Okay, the Lord hates that, man. Right. right. And the sinner. Okay, back to Jackie Christian. Right. It says, um, and they that fear the most high love it not. Oh, and they that fear the Lord, which is the beginning of knowledge of wisdom and understanding of the Bible, uh, love it not, man. So the same thing that Yahweh Bashinah Shah hates, we hate, man. Right. Just like Psalms with the 139 or 21. Okay? I hate those that hate thee, O Lord. And I'm grieved with them that rise up against thee. I'll bring this definition. Uh, the definition of return, it says an act of coming or going back to a place or activity. Oh, uh, see, what activity uh, that we're returning back to, man? Okay, serving so Yahweh Bashinah Shah, doing what we're doing now. A heritage. Hey, yep. And soon, you know what I'm saying, when Lord Yahweh Shah returns and beat up his elect, which are hoping to be those men, we're going to go back to that land, man. All right? Personally. Not the 1940s. All right. It says homecoming. Mm -hmm. It starts with his word, you know? And then Lord willing, we'll get the land. Uh, you know, it's already promised to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Right. And those are our forefathers. So physically, we're going to go back home, but it's going to start with his word. We're going to come back to our nationality. Mm -hmm. You know? That's the pretty much Lord willing, we'll be on that first go around. That's right. right. Receive that land back. You know what I'm saying? Right. This right. ain't our land. This land polluted. Right. This ain't our rest, man. Yep. Come on, anytime you got to ride around with a damn mask on 24 hours a day, even in your car, you ain't right. in network no, no more. Right. You know what I'm saying? You off the clock. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Uh, Jake be off the clock. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Bugging. Yeah. Jake be off the yeah. clock out here bugging, man. Yeah. Yeah. You ain't at work right about now. Take that damn mask off. Right. <laughs> you ain't at the hospital. No, right. You ain't at no grocery store. You ain't right. nowhere. You outside. Right. With a mask. You don't even trust the Lord's air no more. You know, right. got, I'm saying that witchcraft, yo, for real, for real, yo. Mm -hmm. Right. That witchcraft, aka that that boo too. Yep. You know what I'm saying? That oh, food boy. too. Yep. I'm saying that thing's something serious, man. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Got people scared of the Lord's air now, man. Right. 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 Yeah. Go ahead, though, bro. How the scripture go? Uh, the God of this world has the minds of them. Yeah. The minds of them. believe not. Yeah. Yep. Hey, you just going into that. That's why you still wearing masks and getting that. That's spider juice, man. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. The serpent's been, piss. Yeah. Yep. Yep. No, it's called the serpent's piss. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Baruch 2 and 33 mm -hmm. And return from their stiff neck And from their wicked deeds Which That's only going to uh, start with the elect Because mm -hmm. they're going to endure it to the end Okay It says For they shall remember the way of their fathers mm -hmm. With sin before the Lord and Right and we're keeping that to the best of our duties man. See um, the word uh, remember No sense to bring you back to something mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying yeah. Remember, we discontinued from our heritage, right? But then, here we go, you know what I'm saying? The Lord said, look, they're going to remember the ways of their forefathers. Right. The majority of our people, they don't want to know the old path. Right. We say that in Jeremiah, the sixth chapter. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We give them the word. They're like, nah, I don't want to know about the old path. Right. I'm on a new path now. Right. Well, you're on that, you're on that, uh, that wide gate. Yep. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Right. That lead us to death and destruction. Right. We're on that straight and narrow path. Right. That lead us to life yep. and eternal life, man. That's right. Like the scripture say, you know what I'm saying? If you, got, if you got an inheritance on the other side of that river, you know what I'm saying? But you got to go through hell to get to it. Mm -hmm. You got to get, get to it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You just stand there and just look at the inheritance over there. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's beautiful over I there. Know, shining. Right. You know what I'm right. saying? So let, let's go. Let's get it. All right. Well, look what we had to go through during the time of the Exodus. Man. Yeah, we already been going through hell. Yeah. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Look, you might as well keep going through it. Because right. right. going through this hell is going to lead to something beautiful. That's right. right. You know what I'm saying? Right. All of a sudden, you know, our people don't want to go through hell. So they're like, this hell right here is too much for them. Because we know they ain't trying to go through the straight gate. Right. Have a difficulty like now, nah, y'all can't be because the flesh, man, right. it's the flesh. It says the scriptures say, Um, the spirit is willing, truly willing, but the flesh yeah. is weak. Yep. That's why you got to pray to be more spiritual in the corner. Because, mm -hmm. of course, you know what I'm saying? If you call on them, you're going to take the easy route out. Right. But a spiritual man, you know what I'm saying? He's pleasing you. How about Shimmy? I was shot. That's right. You got it around. Right. I got the precepts. Go ahead. Go no, go, um, just, just finish that up. Get your precepts. We're going to get this out there. Yep. Uh, you got two precepts, right? Yeah, I had to finish off that. Yeah. Yeah. Read down to 35. Well, matter of fact, go ahead, then, Kabbalah. Uh, oh, bring it out. This is a quick one. Yeah, bring it out. Um, uh, uh, Book of Jude, chapter 1, verse 5. Yeah. It says, there, I will therefore put you into remembrance. Mm -hmm. Right. Yep. See, there I will put you in remembrance, hey. man. That prophecy had to be fulfilled. Okay? And how do, you, how do our people get put in remembrance? By the service of prophecy. Y'all by Shinao Shah, mm -hmm. set up and teach the word, man. 
Okay, same way with us. When we heard the uh, the elder apostles and elder bishop, you know, it stuck to us, man. All the way down the line. You know, our elder apostles, they learn from their elders, so on and so forth. I got a precept on Shakim as well, too. Because it's Jude 1 and 5. It says, I would therefore put you in remembrance, though ye once knew this, mm -hmm. how the Lord, having saved the people out of the land of Egypt. Reincarnation scripture right there. Mm -hmm. How are you going to know something if you only been on the earth one time? It says, right. it says you once knew this. Mm -hmm. Once knew this when? You know what I'm saying? If we only, if we only live one time. How are we going to know something in this world over 2,000 right. years ago? Mm -hmm. How are we going to know something 2,000 years old, you know what I'm saying, and right. longer, you know what I'm saying, if, if this is our, our only time living yeah. on the face of the earth? Meaning we knew this. We didn't been here before, man. Right, yeah. We was back then. Yeah. Now we're starting to remember it again. We discontinued from it. Now we're starting to remember it again. All through the grace of Yahweh by Shemiah was shot. Right. And the Lord don't want every Israelite to, to remember this, man. Right. Why, why do you think all the Israelites just walking past the word? Mm -hmm. That's right. There ain't no such thing as a coincidence. Right. It's prophecy, man. That's right. right. Yeah. Yep, it reads on. St. Jude chapter 1 verse 5, it says how that the Lord having saved the people out of the land of Egypt. Yep, our people, man, the Israelites. Right. Okay, he delivered us out of, what was it, 400 years of hardcore bondage yep. and slavery yep. in Egypt. And that was in Egypt. Yep. Okay, uh, ancient Egypt. Right. Okay. It says, reason afterwards destroyed them that believe not. Mm -hmm. Right, that believe not, man. The Dang. ones of our people that was murmuring. Okay, that forced Aaron to uh to make that uh, golden calf, yeah. you know, all of them got destroyed, man. That's right. Yeah. All on back then. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I just want to say real fast, hold them rot. That oh, fool, they, you know, he had to hunt. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You won't get beat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. so that whip won't come in on your back. That won't even good enough, though, right? I people want to go back into Egypt. We call it pure hell and Egypt, man. That sound yeah. straight up um, yeah. scarring up to death. You know, it's, you know what the sun can do to you, man? Yeah. If you ain't up under no shaded, you know what I'm saying, yeah. um, tent or something like that. Yeah. And we were dead in it, Joe. Yeah. And they had us working without shirts and all that, too. Yeah. So you know that sun will burn your back. You know what I'm saying? You know how people had sunburns and everything, man. Yeah. You know? They, they, um, they, they was really baking their stuff to death out there. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I yeah. may say real fast. I was in um, the store um, earlier, and, um, no, it was just in the slot here. And I, I was in the vegetable section. I saw some leaks, man. I started shaking my head because that's what Jake, it's one of the things Jake was desiring to mm -hmm. go back to Egypt for. Right? That's right. For, for leaks, man. Right, don't leak. Yeah. You know, it's a little, mm -hmm. it's like a... Garlic? Yeah, it's like a yeah. plant, but yeah, like yeah. celery. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's yeah. like a, a thick celery. Yeah. Hey, and just food in general. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? You know, you know, you know. Um, in Egypt they're serving nothing but pork yeah, and know, everything. Right? Yeah, the custom of the Hebrews, man. Yeah, yeah. everything they're serving right now, cause this is modern day Egypt. Yep. So everything they were serving, you know what I'm saying, back then was being served now. Right. So just name it, squid. They had squid back then. Yep. They had pork, yep. crab, mm -hmm. lobster, all that, man. Right there by the water. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. They had all kind of abominable foods, man. You know? Mm -hmm. They eating yep. all kind of shit, bro. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like, yo, we're gonna go back into Egypt. Cause we're starving here. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what they said. Couldn't even go a day without eating food, man. Right. That's what the Lord, you know what I'm saying, took them around, you know what I'm saying, the wilderness for 40 years and killed, yep. killed, killed off the rebellious ones. Yep. That's what's going on now. Yep. Man, they ain't going for cherries, bro. Nope. You finish yours, bro? <laughs> this is 1 Peter. 2 Peter chapter right. 3, verse 1. This second epistle, which is a letter. Yep. These are epistles right here, these videos, right? right. Mm -hmm. Beloved, the house of David, I now write it to you in both which I stir up your pure minds by way of remembrance. Right. Well, uh, I forgot what that word. What did that stir going to? Uh, yeah, we'll, yeah, get yeah, yeah, we'll get it. We'll get it. Yeah. So, yeah, man, that, that, that's what Yahweh Bashim al is doing now, man. Through the service of the prophets. Start off for the head of prophets, the elder bishop. Probably down, probably. man. All right. Stir up something. I know it means uh, something heavy, yeah. Uh, uh, Ain't like uh, a or something like that. Yeah, I read it one more time. Second Peter chapter three verse one. Mm -hmm. This second epistle, beloved, yep. I now write it to you, yep. and both which I stir up your pure mm -hmm. minds by way of remembrance. Mm -hmm. And the word um, stir means to wake up. Mm -hmm. Hey, yep, she's to wake up. To wake up. Yep. To wake up, awaken, arouse from sleep. Damn. Arouse from sleep. See, I knew that word went to something heavy, man. And that's that's what's happening now, man. By way of this word, okay, by being uh being on the broad uh, main uh, uh what's it, uh, uh podcast YouTube, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Yep. 
by this word, right, man. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get it up. I got a precept. I got a precept for what you just read, bro. Hold it, hold it down for a minute. Uh, Romans chapter 13, verse 11. And that, knowing the time, yep. that now it is high time to wake out of sleep. Right, right. now it's time to wake up out of sleep, man, because this place is about to be destroyed very, very soon. And it's also the Lord wanted that scripture to come out twice. Right. All right? Because, you know, as we see in the Bible. came out once already? Yeah, but the Bible was reading. Wow. The scripture. Oh, wow. Wow. Mm -hmm. So the Lord wanted to reiterate that. Stirring it up. Prophets, the Lord man. stirring it up, man. Yep. Right. Like Bob Marley said, stir it up. Right. Uh, it says, for now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. And we're getting closer and closer to it, man. As we see more prophecies unfold. We're hearing wars, the rumors of wars. We're seeing uproars of the people. We're seeing earthquakes, you know, in diverse places. I'm going to go right back to that um, St. Matthew 24th chapter. I'm still mm -hmm. holding that. You uh -huh. know, you see the race wars going up, you know, so on and so forth, man. Mm -hmm. Well, we see it. Yeah, well, yeah, we yeah, see yeah. it through the spirit, you know what I'm saying? Our people do see it, but they don't know that it's all being orchestrated by the God yeah. of the Bible. They just think it's just something that just happened. They don't, they don't even know this is prophecy right here. Man. They don't even know these are signs leading up to salvation, man. Right, they, can't even right. just, they can't even fathom it. Man. Our people are through. Some more definition of that, bro? Just two more. It Read says, it from the top. Yep. Um, it says uh, to stir, to wake up, to awaken, arouse from sleep. Right. It says, so look, we're asleep. Yeah. It says they that want out of the way of understanding should remain in the congregation of the dead. Yeah. We're yeah. pretty much asleep, man. Yeah. You know? Yeah. The Lord put us to sleep. But now we're we, we waking us up and he's stirring it up now. That's right. Yeah. You know? It says to rise. It says to. Ain't that what we're doing? We, the, the word rise means to stand. We're starting to stand up on our feet, right? Kwam Yesha Allah, right? Yep. Yep. Rise yep. Israel. Yep. We're starting to rise now, man. That's right. You see? Mm -hmm. yeah, that's why everybody knows something. We remember the scripture saying, and they stood upon their feet, and, and fear fell upon yep, them. Yep, yep. Great fear yep, yep. fell upon them. Yep. The elites, man. Mm. This, this is the, one of the greatest signs right here. Mm. The sign of Jonah, right? Yep. Somebody preaching the words, right? Yep. You got it. All right, one more. It says to render active. Dang. To activate us. No right. Spirit, Ain't no, bro. No. Their, but their battery has been recharged. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? That battery has been recharged, bro. That battery was dead right. for a minute. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Lord charged us up again, uh -huh. man. Give us our heritage back, man, our nationality yep. back, man. Yep. Now we crying aloud, sparing not. Now yep. we lifting up our voice like trumpets, man. Right, yep. right. We ain't holding back no more. That's yep. right. Yep. This, this, this place is on his last fingernail. It ain't on his last <laughs> leg no more. This place is on his last Down fingernail, man. Yep. This place through, man. Mm -hmm. And you see it. No morals, no shame, no nothing, just pride. Right. Yep. And, you know, pride is the beginning of a civilization being destroyed. Yes. That's what happened to us, right? That's We're right. filled with pride. This ain't no, the Lord brought us low. Right. Pride is the beginning of one departing from his maker. That's it. Yep. And, and they that have it pour out abominations. Yep. You see? That's right. So I'm going to go right back. 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 1. This second epistle, beloved, yep. I now write unto you yep. and both which I stir up your pure minds to wake by up. way of remembrance. Yep, to wake up, man. To arouse. To revive. All right? And, and, that, and that's happening by the word, by the scriptures. That's man. right. Through the service of prophets, starting for the head of apostles and the other bishops on down, man. That's right. That ye may look, that ye may be mindful of the words which were spoken before mm -hmm. by the holy prophets. Yep, and, and this scripture is written for our learning, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, I did a lesson like uh, I did a lesson like that the other day. The Bible, the things that are written in the scripture before our time was written for our learning is what we should do in these last days of the last days, man. Yep. Going right back to Hebrews um one and one. You know I'm saying yeah, 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 it's yeah, spoken yeah, yeah. in sundry times and in diverse That's manners right, yeah. by the prophets, man. Yep. But to do what? Stir up your prayer mind. Right. To keep rem your prophets were sent forth to remind you of these words over and over. That's Every right. time you see a prophet or you read about the prophets, what they were sent in that time to do? To Keep remind mind. Israel. Yep. That's right. What to do according to the Bible. Yep. Why do you think we out here? Just to be standing out here? No. We out here to remind our people to stir up their pure minds by way of remembrance, man. That's to remind right. them of who they are and who they created is, man. That's right. Sir. Right? That's it. it says, um, and of the commandments of us, the apostles of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah. I got a precept. Uh -huh. This is Ephesians 5. It's all about waking up, right? 14 says, Wherefore he saith, Awake thou that sleepest. Now that's talking about our people, man, because our people are, are spiritually dead, man. All right? They're following these uh, other gods, you know what I'm saying? They're doing all type of abominations, living a life uh, contrary to what the scriptures say, living, man. 
So the service of prophets, the one that's been woken up, is saying, awake, man. Right. Mm -hmm. Come out of the mindset and the ways of, of America, man. Mm -hmm. Stop sipping on that Babylon juice and come seek the sincere look of the word. Right. right. Yep, Ephesians 5 and 14, it says, and arise from the dead, yep. and the Mashiach shall give thee light. Right, and that light starts with the wisdom and knowledge and understanding of the scriptures, man. That's right. The, uh, the spirit of Yahweh shot. Okay. It says, uh, verse 15, see then that you walk circumspectly. And then where arise means to wake up to. You know what I'm saying? You look up that word arise. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Lord Yahweh, yeah, I, I told somebody that in the scriptures. Arise. Lazarus. Lazarus, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Meaning what? He yep. woke him up. Yep. Yep. You know what yep. I'm saying? The word arise means to wake up yep. too. Yep. 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 Arise from the dead, man. Come That's back right. to life. Live again. That's right. Because we ain't lived in a long time. That's time to live now. Right. That's time to live now. We've been That's dead right. for a long time, man. We were dead for hundreds of years, man. That's, That's time to right. live again now, bro. Right. Then we starting to live right. now, man. That's, That's right. why we guess why we get so hype and excited now, That's man. Right. We're finally right. starting to live again, man. That's, That's right. right. You know, we we starting to really truly understand life now for the first time in this life, man. Uh -huh. That's right. We, we remember how it was before, but yeah. then we lost our way, we forgot. Yeah. Yeah. But then you had the apostles and the elder bishops of Great Millstone and their elders, yep. you know what I'm saying? Yep. Stir up our pure minds by way of remembrance, man. And, yeah. and look, and it's been on and popping ever since, man. All right. You know what I'm saying? Right. And we don't want to go back to sleep. Oh, the hell we're going back to sleep. The hell we're going back to sleep, man. Right. Right. You see? Right. Going back to sleep is going back right. into the world. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Get, hopping back into Christmas. Look, look. Hell imagine hell that. No. Imagine that. Don't even imagine that. Right. You're going like shopping for a damn Christmas tree. Right. Imagine that, man. Right. 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 You're going shopping for a Christmas tree again. Right. Hell you're, no. you're, you're, going, you're going Easter egg hunting right. again. Yeah. Come on now, man. Cool. You're walking around yeah. with no damn beard. Yeah. Come on now. Uh, no, man. Looking crazy. Looking look like a fool. You know what I'm saying? Right. Looking real crazy, man. Yeah. Yeah. Trying to look like Easter. Right. You know what I'm saying? Looking like sleazy eating all over again, man. Damn. When the, Lord, when the Lord said our, our beard is a badge of manly dignity, man. That's right. They don't want us to be men. That's right. You got it, brother. That's right. That's right. It was a saying, um, arise and shine. Right. Mm. Yep. Arise and right. shine. Arise and shine. Uh, arise Wisdom. and shine for thy light is come. That's right. Yep. Wisdom make a, a man's face to shine. Right. And everybody, and everybody out here shining. Right. Everybody out here shining. Right. 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 Everybody right. out here right. got a got a look. You know what I'm saying to yep. let you know they they, 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 they woke. That's right. That's right. Everybody right. out here got a look on right. their face to let you it, know bro. to let us That's know it. everybody woke. Everybody woke out here. That's right. Ain't nobody sleep out here, man. Right. All right. right. That's but right. the scriptures say, uh, "My sheep hear my voice." Right. Yep. Another voice they won't follow. They, they ain't following after the voice of strangers. That's right. You know what I'm saying. That's right. You got some more there, Kabbalah. Yeah, I'm gonna finish it out. And then go back to the following way first. Yeah. Let's finish that off. So verse 15, Ephesians 5 and 15 says, See then that you walk circumspectly. Which means All to right. look around, man. All right? Look, well, to walk carefully in the yep. spirit, man. Right, right. Being wise and serpent, harmless and stuff, man. That's right. Here's the light. If I may say to you, brother, right, so you right. just, just don't go and just get the, uh, 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 jab Judah. Jab Judah. <laughs> right, right, right. Right. Just right. circumspect about it. Right. Yeah. Right. That's yeah. right. Hey, I'm just yeah, saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, inquiring minds want to know that, yeah. all right? Yeah. That's just like, say if I meet somebody, you know what I'm saying? I want to know right. what that person about. Right. You know what I'm That's saying? That's exactly right. You know. Got to get to know them. What you into. Right. right. Yeah. I'm going to let you know what I'm into, what right. you into. You know what I'm right. saying? Right. You yeah. know, who, who, who you believe in. What That's you believe right. in. Right. What type of things you like. Right. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. You know? That's right. Mm -hmm. right. You can't let everybody in your crib. That's right. You can't invite right. everybody to your house. You can't give everybody your phone. Right. Exactly. There's some creeps out here, man. That's right. There ain't number of weirdos out here, man. Exactly, Come on, bro. man. You can't just right. give anybody your number, man. That's right. You know who it is. That's right. Oh, yeah. Right. The scriptures say, um, before thou get us a friend, um, examine them first. Examine. Yeah. Right. So, so, so we examine the friend. We examine you know, the scriptures say, um, even the smallest matter. Yeah. That's right. What did yeah. say? What's that scripture say? Even the smallest matter. We judge. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, first the first biggest first. matter, even the smallest. Shall not he? What did it say, bro? Something to that effect. I'm, 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 I'm roughly paraphrasing, but it says something to that effect. Yeah, even. Well, not even that one, but that, that too, okay, you know what I'm saying? Okay. The good one. But it says, um, uh, something about, um, yeah. Something about, um, even the smallest matter. Yeah. Okay. Aren't you you're judging the, uh, the bigger matters? Aren't you uh, worthy to judge yeah. the smaller okay. matters? This is a big matter. Yep. But I don't supposed to worry about what's going on with it, right? Come on, man. Right. We ain't just believing everything out here that's going on, man. Right. The Lord put the spirit on us to inquire right. what the hell is going on, man. Right. Our minds have been stirred up. Our minds have been awoken, I think man. So. Right. I think so. But if you can't find it, it's all good, though, bro. So I'm just roughly paraphrasing. That's what I was thinking about when you said it. Are you not worthy to judge the smallest matter? 
The smallest matter, somebody want to type that in? I know those are key words. I, the Lord be having me um, remember them key words, though. Yeah. Uh, aren't you worthy to judge the, the smallest matter, even the greatest matter, something to that effect? Okay. But until you find it, don't say goodbye, yeah. you can finish what you yep. got. Yep. 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 Come. Uh, with King James. Yeah, that's okay, it. I got it. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is it right here, King James Version. Uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 2. Yeah, 3. Do ye not know that the saints shall judge? Yeah, brother said they're judging. Do you not know that the saints shall judge the world? Which are Israelites, man. Okay, beginning with the elect of the nation of Israel. All right? But they're, they're the ones that's going to be uh, reigning with Yahweh Shah when he returns, man. Get beamed up. Yeah, that's right. Sitting on the 12, uh, 12 thrones, judging the 12 tribes of Israel. It's like when, when, uh, when uh, judge is sitting on the bench. I'm saying you got the defendant and you got the prosecutor. Everybody bringing in information. And the judge, you know what I'm saying, looks at one's uh, information and the other information. You know what I'm right. saying he's judging. Yep. You know what I'm saying? He's, look, we, we, we're judges of the earth, man. Yep. We got to judge these matters, man. Yep. We got to inquire of these matters, man. Be an um, a ignorant judge out here, man. Right, right, know right, what I'm saying? Right, right. You can't be an ignorant judge walking around the earth right about now, man. You are looking all stupid and lost. You know what I'm saying? Right, Ain't right. judging the matter. No, you just like, yeah. Right, right, right. Whatever happens to no, the judge don't say no no more. You know what I'm saying? The judge don't um, think upon nothing no more. Right. We're judges supposed to think upon these matters that we're being faced with right about now and, and make the right decision. You know right. what I'm saying? Discernment, right? Yep, yep, Discernment, yep. right? The phone went off, brother. Speak right quick, bro. So yeah, man, that's the spirit of Yahweh by Shimon Shadi is gonna put on his men to do. To discern from right and wrong who's the false prophet and who's the true teachers and leaders. And what to do and what not to do. You know what I'm saying? King James Version, once again, 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 2. Do ye not know that the saints shall judge the world? And if the world shall be judged by you, are ye unworthy to judge the smallest matters? This is one, but it ain't the one I was talking about. But that's one, though. You got it wrong. Yep. Sirach 5 and 15. Be not ignorant of anything. That's it. Yeah. That's it. And the word ignorant means not to know. The right. said, be not ignorant. We're supposed to know what the hell is going on. Walking yeah. around ignorant. Your right. brother just read, walk circumspectly. You right. know what I'm saying? Yep. If you're not walking around circumspectly, you walk around ignorant. Right. That's right. these people. That's, yep. that's the two turds and these heathens, man. These yep. ninjas out here. They walk around real ignorant right about now, man. Yep. They don't know what's going on. Drinking the, um, the serpent's piss. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Right. Like it's good drinking that Kool-Aid. You right. know what I'm right. saying, bro? Right. Drinking that lemonade. You know what I'm saying, bro? Lemonade, that cool, refreshing drink. Right. You know, right. the next thing you know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You got it, brother. Yep. So rock 5 and 15. Be not ignorant of anything in a great matter or a small. Mm. In a great matter or a small. Don't be ignorant of nothing that's going on out here. From the greatest matter to the yep. smallest matter, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, and the thing that's going on right about now, that mm -hmm. Jab Judah, know, you know what I'm right? saying? Yeah, that's, yeah. A, that's a great matter right there, yep. man. You can't be ignorant of that. Walking around blind, not knowing shit. Jake, bug the hell out, man. I thought that, that sounded like a damn dog or something. I thought it was a damn dog. I thought it was a dog choking on the, on the, right. on the water or something. I thought it was a dog choking on some water or something, which is a dog. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know. Can I just say, yeah, bro, bro, you got it. And, and that scripture is, is on point because you ask anybody who uh, took the dance right. and ask them what's in it, they can't tell you what's right, in it. Right, right. So why would you take something that you don't know what's in it? Right. That just shows that who's, you. Who's hosting the party. Who's you know hosting the party. Right. You know? So, so you can't go to any dance, right, you know what I'm saying? You, dance, you don't know right. who's hosting right. the dance. Right. right. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> you think you think you're going there listening to some R&B, you know what I'm right. saying? That's ain't no some rock and roll going on. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, some right. devil worship, yeah. you know, screaming, hollering. So, so you want to invite yeah, me yeah. to a dance? I need right. to know. I need to know who, who having a dance. Let right. a person come to you, yo, yo, bro. I'm throwing a party, yo. Or, or yo, yo, a person come to you like, yo, I know where this party at, yo. I'm saying you want to go. Who, who throwing it? Right. Who throwing it? Who the So, so a party is being thrown right. So I can't mean a bit of spit came on my. I want to know who's throwing the party. Right. You invite mm -hmm. me to a party, no matter if it's a pool party, a dance party, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Don't matter what kind of party. I want to know who's throwing the party. Right. right. You know what I'm saying? Hey, look, if you're doing games and stuff, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Somebody could be a blood. Like, what's the party, man? You go to the party, there's a bunch of crips up in there. Right. You know what I'm saying, bro? <laughs> yeah. Why? Because you didn't inquire. Right. You, didn't, you, know what I'm saying? Right. you was ignorant. <laughs> Ask the questions, man. We in the time of asking questions, man. That's right. All right? Don't what is that? Closed mouth don't get fed? Yeah. Max. That was the end of that, bro? Yeah, that was the end of that. Want me to read it again? Or? No, that was it. If I could say something on that, but uh, yeah, that reminds me of that scene in NWA where uh, Eazy-E and MC Ren went to this party 
You know what I'm saying? And then all of a sudden the dude was like, hey, I said, you sure you want to be in here, man? Because he's easy for real. Right. You know what I'm saying? He was like, this, this, this club is full of power movies, man. Right. <laughs> Which is a rival gang. And he was right. like, man, I'm cool, man. I'm all right. But he didn't require it, though, man. Right. He just didn't care. Right. You walk into um, a house full of fucking snakes, mm. you know what I'm saying? You just walk in the house, you don't even look down on nothing, you know what I'm saying? You right. just, just rush up in the house. That's how you know you look down, you used to yep. run around with snakes, you yeah. um, know? Them big shit of King Cobras, you mm. know what I'm oh, saying? Yeah, yeah, then yeah. they go to wrapping around on you, yep. don't fall to death. Yours the or the, or the yeah. person that opened the door. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Bring out a couple more scriptures when they come up. We got a lot of those brothers, everybody get a bit, you know what I'm saying? 30 minutes to an hour, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, Speaking time. Bring out a couple more scriptures, though, for the brothers. Yep. It's uh, back in Ephesians 5 and 15. It says, See then that ye walk circumspectly. And the Apostle Paul was talking to Israelites, man, in Ephesus, all right? Yep. It was like, Listen, y'all walk, walk carefully, man. Uh, be, be, be aware, look at your, at your surroundings, man. All right? Yep, it reads on. It says, Not as fools, yep. but as wise. All right, not as fools, because the fools are the two thirds of our people who are spiritually dead, man. They just do any and anything, man. They dibble and dabble into anything. So the, so the, the Apostle Paul like, don't, don't be in the mindset of a two-third person, man. All right? Be wise, man. Walk according to what the scripture says. All right. You can't be walking around here ignorant, man. Right. And these times, look, we're in the, um, we're in the um, age of information. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The WWW. Yep. The World Wide Web. You know what I'm right. saying? Anything, you got so you got a question to anything, go on the web and look it up, man. That's I right. think like, nah, they really look up nonsense on the web, man. Oh, They're yeah. looking up nonsense on the web, yo. They ain't researching nothing, man. They ain't into everything that's going on, except for a club, or the thing that's happening you know what I'm saying, over there on the other mm -hmm. block. They're not ignorant to that. So we just found out what happened across this block, you know what I'm saying, when we came down here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The majority of our people, they knew that was going to happen months ago. Mm -hmm. But we know what's going on right. um, with the, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. They know, and we knew months right. ago. So I'd rather know what we know right. instead of know what they know. Right. What, the thing that they know ain't nothing what's going to get you. It's yeah, a sweaty shirt, you know what I'm saying? Some um, sore legs from just dancing and all that. What we know, you know what I'm saying? Look, man, the information that we got, yo, trust me, man, it's priceless. Yep. Mm -hmm. It reads on, Ephesians 5 and 16, redeeming the times because the days are evil. Right, which is where redeem means to buy back. Okay, so redeeming the times because the days are evil, man. Yep. So living your life, you know, buying back your time by putting your time in the scriptures, man. All right, studying, praying, reading, fasting, you know, so on and so forth. This was the instruction that the Apostle Paul was telling our people in Ephesus during this time, man. Yeah, one more for you. Verse 17, wherefore be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. Right, and we know what the will of the Lord is because we fear the Lord, man. This is the beginning of the knowledge of which man of the scriptures. All right? So we know what to do and what not to do according to what the uh, scriptures say. I mean, I don't know what you're saying real fast, bro. Mm -hmm. Our people don't understand the will. That's the problem. Yeah. They don't want to understand the will of the Lord. Uh, they think no. the will of the Lord is free will. The Lord allowing me to, to do what I want to do. So if I want to trust in science, you know, yeah. the Lord gave me that ability. Yeah. Eh, that's not the will of the Lord. That's right. Mm -hmm. And righteousness. Right. Yeah, on the left hand side. Yeah, the left -hand yeah. side. Right. Yep. The will of the Lord is to destroy this place on the That's right. 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 You know what I'm saying? We know all that side. We're not ignorant to none of that. I got one precept. Did you want me to finish this off? Um, I mean, yeah, it's it's called Awake Coming First. Yeah. Let me read this and yep. then you can finish yep. it off. Yep. Second Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11. Least Satan should get an advantage Ooh. of us, for we are not ignorant Ooh. of his devices. devices. Yeah, his, uh, his methods, man, on the left hand side. We're not ignorant of that. That's why. You know, brothers are well aware that that spider juice, or the, what you call it? Serpent's piss. The serpent's piss, you know what I'm saying? It ain't no good, man. It's a no-go, all right? You know that word ignorant means not to know. Yep, 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 we yep. know, though. We're, look, yep. the scripture say we are not ignorant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's right. Yep. You know, majority, we know what's going on. Oh, I'm you got sorry. It, no, you got it, bro. Got it. Obviously, the majority of our people, you know, hey, you can tell them not, not to uh, 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 dip and dab into Esau's witchcraft, by taking that, but our people are ignorant, man. And yeah, they're proud with it, too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, my God. They're ignorant yeah. and proud. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Okay, right, 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 week. right, right. You know what I'm saying? I'm on my fourth one. Right, right. That's what they say. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know. Yeah. Step, yeah. Stepped on up to the plate for real, for real. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what the hell that's for. You know. Which is song? Which is. Yeah. I got a quick hit. Yeah. This is Psalms uh, 25 and 14. The secret of the Lord 
is with them that fear him. The secret of the Lord is with them that fear him. The right. secrets, the hidden truths, man, of the scriptures, which the majority of our people can't get. All right, yeah, it, it's a gift from Yahweh Bashim Yahushua to be able to understand the scriptures and break it down the right way. And that goes to them that fear the Lord. It's right. the beginning of getting, right. uh, getting the wisdom and knowledge and understanding of the scriptures. That's why when this devil comes with his different devices, his tricks, his schemes, his plots, our people fall for a hook, line, and sinker every time. I mean, every time they fall for it, man. Every time? I mean, you ain't trying to dodge it not once, you know what I'm saying? You just, you know what I'm saying? Just standing there, you know what I'm saying? Come on, man. We're in a fight right about it. You're supposed to be bobbing and weaving, man. You're supposed to be doing something, man. You're not supposed to be getting hit with every punch, man. I mean, you know, you got you fighting somebody, they just swinging all wild and shit like this, you know what I'm saying? You might get caught with one of them. You don't get caught by every last one of them, man. Come on now. We're too late in the game to be getting hit like that, man. That's right, bro. Don't know that come out. No, it reads on. And he will show them his covenant. Right, he will shoot them, the one he revealed his wisdom and knowledge and understanding to, his agreement, all right? Which, well, the, one of the main uh, agreements that he made with them is to deliver them from captivity and have them remember themselves right. in that captivity, uh, man, right. and give them the true names, yep. all right? Okay, that was taken away for a period of time, and now we got it back. Right. Contrary to what these uh, other Israelite groups might say, man, okay? Um, Kabbalah had that last one for you. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day should not come, except there come a fallen away first, and that son of, and the man of sin yeah. be revealed, mm -hmm. the son of perdition. Which is Esau, man. All right, the son of perdition. Mr. the word perdition means destruction. That's it. That's all this man is about, man. Uh, the destruction of, of our people. All right. He wanted to uh, erase us from uh, being a, a, a nation on the earth, right? Yeah, uh, give Revelation 6 and 4 right there. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, yep. Plus, once again, the scripture yeah. say, um, how can you make some crook how can you make something straight when the Lord made crooked, man? Mm -hmm. You want this dude to be straight eighty. You want this dude right. wanna be you want this dude to really be on the straight up on right. what's that why they say it? Straight straight up? Yeah. You, you, you want this dude to come straight up, you know what I'm saying? Um, that's the word escapes me. You know what I'm saying? But pretty much that's one of the words that you can use. This man not gonna be straight up with you, man. Right. All right? This man's a real. crook, man. All right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Straight and skinny is one of them. They just want him to keep it real. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Man, gonna keep it real with you, man. Right. Yeah, real fake. You right. know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, gonna real fake, <laughs> real phony. You know what I'm saying? Yep. If I may add on real fast, that's why going back to understand the will of the Lord, our people want Esau to understand what they're going through right now. Right. He's not gonna understand to the kingdom. It's not the time for him to understand what they're going through, man. Right. Until it comes shackles. The curse song that befell us going before him, going before uh, him. Yeah. Should the scripture say, who shall moan thee? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Who shall moan for thee? Nobody, man. Yeah. Right. It won't set up in the spirit for these um, different nations to moan us and cry for us. You know what I'm saying? And think upon our plot. Nah. These nations were set up to put hell on us, man. And we're, and we're not ignorant to that. We know that. We know these, come on, man. You, you ain't able to pay your light bill, you just ain't able to pay your light bill. Mm. You know? Yeah, and now our people don't say that um that um shit with the rent, oh, all that shit is over. Yeah, mm -hmm. what, 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 what is it, bro? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's over now. Yep. Get the hell out. Right. You know what I'm saying? Just get the hell out right. now. That's what Sleazy's saying now. Yeah. You got landlords happy as hell now. I know, right? But these landlords mm -hmm. have lost a lot of money dealing with Jake's lazy ass. Could have been got off your lazy ass and went and found a job. Temporary service job. Yep. Could have been digging some holes. Could have been shoveling some shit. Yeah, yeah. Anything, man. Yep. Too, you're too pretty for that, though, right? Come on, man. Now that man wanted rent money now. Yeah. Now you twenty thousand dollars in debt. Mm -hmm. I, I did the lesson through the spirit. Is uh, one uh, lady uh, in New York? She had like a couple of houses, and um, the tenant stopped paying her. So now she's out homeless. Oh yeah. Due to the fact that you know uh, they're doing it by state by state for the yeah. moratorium. So how the state gonna handle it? That's yeah. how the state's gonna handle it. Mm -hmm. And so they haven't came off the money yet. So yep. she's living on her car. Yep. Yeah. But that's the all, all, all up there on the stage. Like, the money is for us. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. Like the, um, the lady, one of them comic women, like, oh, yeah, what's that woman? Um, Foot, Blackfoot, whatever that woman name is. Miss Blackfoot in D.C., right? Ain't that her name? Black, not Chicago. Chicago? You know what I'm saying? Uh, what's uh, that woman uh, in Chicago? Yeah, something uh, Foot, Blackfoot, yeah. something uh, Foot. Something like that. Yeah, bug out, bug out, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because yeah. yeah. um, the lady was up there. That's, that money is ours. You know what I'm saying? The government said that's our money. You know what I'm saying? But you, you supposed to give it to us so we can pay our rent. The lady was like, "Hold on, lady, Miss mm -hmm. Blackfoot. Like, hold on. But look, before we can even give you the money, we got to make a decision on who deserves the money. 
And they ain't with the government say the government said this money is for people who need to pay their rent. So that, that, they're always lying. You just say never trust that right. enemy. Right. You, you, you really fell for that choice? You really thought your enemy was going to pay, pay your rent? Are you serious? Right. Oh, yeah, Blackfoot. I think I named Blackfoot. Oh, Chicago. You know what I'm saying? I think it's the mayor for Chicago. Mayor of Chicago. Miss right? Blackfoot. Oh, yeah. The, uh, you know what I'm saying? She, uh, she uh, says, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Liquor license. Liquor license. You know what I'm saying? Is that you talking about? Yeah, what's, what's her name? What? Blackfoot? Uh, yeah, Lightfoot. Yeah, Lightfoot. Lightfoot. Light, oh, Lightfoot. Lightfoot. And that's, how, and she, and that's how she is when it comes to helping your ass. Real Lightfoot. Light light you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's real Lightfoot. You know what I'm saying? Yep. You got it, bro. Nice. Uh, you want that revelation? Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Bring it out for me then, because Bob got his last one for me. Uh, revelation 6 and 4. Yep. Let's move, Kevin. No, no, you good, man. Yeah. Bring this out for me then. This is his last one. Revelation 6 and 4. Mm -hmm. And there went out another horse that was red. Now, a horse represents power, man. Right? So there went out another uh, a power and authority that was red. Now, when you read the description of Esau, Edom, and Genesis 25 and 25, they said he came out red. All right, so this is the representation of Esau, Edom. Yeah. All right, the so called white people beginning with their elites, the international banking family. It says, and power was given to him that sat. Uh, that sat thereon to take peace from the earth. Right, power was given to him. From who? From Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, the power that we serve, man. Right. All right? Because we because we went off, man. All right? So Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah had to make us an example by putting the basis of all men uh, 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 above us, man, to get uh, to take peace from the earth. That's why everybody's in mourning right about now. Yep. When the wicked are in authority, the people mourn, man. Yep. It says, and that they should kill one another and there was given unto him a great sword. And that sword came from the, the blessing of Isaac. Oh, I got it right here. Oh, got it. Yeah. Yeah. And though I tried to break it, heaven knows I can't. And though I tried to break it, heaven knows I can't. Oh, that's one of them lookout songs. Oh, yeah, look out. Yeah, that's a wonder right there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's Jake right there. Jake in heaven right about now. That's why that's why Jake like you no know, saying give it to Jake coming in um, um Rick James yeah, yeah, yeah. Give it to me, baby. <laughs> yeah. Jake saying give it to me, baby. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Ain't on no questions. Yeah. And no, no one got no questions. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just give it to me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, what do you say? He said uh, give me that stuff. Give right. That right, right. Yeah, right, right. Give me that sweet that funky stuff. Right, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> that's what Jake doing right about now, man. All right? Yeah. But we're not ignorant of Satan's devices, man. Right, 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 the word right, Satan right. means adversary. We have adversaries. Right. On this earth, man. The Heavenly Father and Son has adversaries, man. And, and, and their adversary is coming against us, man. This is Genesis chapter 27, verse 38. And Esau said unto his father, Has thou but one blessing, my father? This is Esau, uh, uh, um, the forefather yeah. of the Edomites, uh, <laughs> begging uh, Isaac, man. Right. Weeping, bitterly. Weeping, yeah. yeah. You know? Bless, like a baby. <laughs> Bless me, even me also, oh my father. And Esau is telling you who. Yep. And Esau yep. lifted up his voice and wept. Right. And Isaac, his father, answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth. Right. So you're going to have all the good, the good places, man. All right. You're going to, you're going to live lavishly. You know what I'm saying? You're going to be in the suburbs where it's clean. Right. You know what I'm saying? You're going to get the best of it. You're going to get the best of the, uh, of the, of the earth, man. Right. If I may right. say, well, oh. I'm back to chat. I'm back what you're saying, brother. When you go to these islands, mm -hmm. DR, Puerto Rico, yep. where well, you got Jake living there? The hood, yeah, the body. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. then you got Esau, yeah. they got that prime land, yep. was all yep. vegetation. It's, yeah. it's pretty, man. Yep. Service and everything out yep. there. Yep. What's it called, a resort? Yeah, yep. yeah, 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 yeah. And the locals are being worked to death. Yeah, hell yeah. You know, so they're working in the locals to death, yep. man. They're paying their pennies, all that, man. All that luxury. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. It says, um, and he said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fattest of the earth. That's why you live in the ghetto and they stay in the suburbs. Yep. But now they want the downtown areas now. Right. Remember, in every city, the downtown area used to be Jake area. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it was, but it was yeah. always ran down. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It, was, it was like um, um, liquor shops and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Little clubs, little juke yeah. joints and all that. That's what the most of the downtown areas used to look like. But now Sleazy, he like, no, nah, I want downtown. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I want downtown now, yep. and they ain't building up all these damn buildings. Hell yeah. I mean, when they, when they want none of these buildings down here, we're never like juke joints. You know what I'm saying? Jason's moving all around, and then we did the park up for Sleazy E. Why? Because his dwelling shall be the fattest of the earth, right? Yeah. 
it says um what's that called uh gentrification yeah yeah, you know yeah. yeah. Red Reach, yep, yep. Mm -hmm. yep. and the dew of the heaven from above and by thy sword yep. shall thou live. And by thy sword thou shalt live, man. And he's definitely using his sword. Right. You know, that modern day gun. Right. You know what I'm saying? His technology. Yeah. You know, his medicines, his witchcraft yep. that he pushed upon our people. Mm -hmm. You know, he's using that sword now that, that Isaac gave to him. Ain't it all? Yeah. He really using it, you know what I'm saying? Because he only yeah. got a short time. Yeah, yeah. He only got a short time to use it, man. That's You're right. going to be able to keep swinging that sword, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Using your technology, your tanks, military weapons. Um, battleships, all that's part of his sword, man. Look, look, oh yeah, um, it's a um, whole system, man. Yeah, yeah man. It's a whole system, man. So and he's cool. taking that sword and he went throughout the four corners of the earth mm -hmm. with his sword. He says his dwelling shall be the fatness of the yeah. earth. Yeah. So throughout the four corners of the earth, this man owned all, whole islands, man. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like one, one dude got his own island. Remember that dude, Epstein? Oh, yeah. He, he owned his own island, man. Yeah. 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 This dude had his own island, yo. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And Jay told him, yo, that's my block, yo, that's my, that's my corner. You got Jake O over a corner, right? Mm -hmm. Shit, one of, the, one of them sleeves of mice on either mice had his own island, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. A big island at that, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Number of wickedness, running around promoting number of wickedness on that whole island, yo. Yeah. Gilligan's Island. Mm -hmm. See, you, I, don't know, I don't know if y'all remember that uh, that little TV show, Gilligan's Island. Yeah. Um, shit, when the plane, you know what I'm saying, show like the island, shit was big as on no wet, yo. I just imagine an island. Dang. Somebody just giving you an island. That's yours, y'all. You good. Right. You know, you're doing whatever you want on that island. You got all yeah. kind of women on that thing, yeah. everything. Yeah. But this man want boys on that island. That's what I'm saying, man. Yeah. But, but who, who was giving the sword? We just proved it. Yeah. Sleeves to eat. Esau eat him. He was giving the sword. Yeah. The kingdom going to be loved, though, too, man. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. The kingdom going to be loved, man. Ain't it, though? You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Bring it out. Hang on. The kingdom going to be loved, man. This is Psalms 49 and 11. Their inward thought is that yeah. their houses shall continue forever. Right, that's what these devils think, man. The Edomites, okay, beginning with their elites. They think that their rulership, you know what I'm saying, everything that they got, they're going to have it forever, man, and keep us on the bottom forever. That's what they think. That's their, uh, what's that, Obadiah, that probably have deceived thee. It's deceiving them, man. Because prophecy said that, uh, that they're going to go into slavery, man. Uh -huh. And they're going to receive double for what they did unto us. Yeah. And be exterminated after a thousand years of slavery. And the dwelling places to all generations. They call their lands after their own name. Right, America, Africa, you know. Every land that they conquer, so to speak, you know what I'm saying? They, they, they name it after themselves, man. Different continent streets. of Asia. Yep, yeah, yeah, Asia. You know what I'm saying? Different boulevards yep. and stuff like that. I think that came from uh, Scipio Africanus, you know what I'm saying? Uh, family member, Asia. Or oh, Asia, yeah. Asia, yeah, Africa. you know what I'm saying? Yep. Yeah. That's his uh, brother, right? Yeah, something yeah. like that. It was, I knew he was a family member. Yeah, you know they, they conquer whole continents, man. And they whole continents after they sell. Unless you have the, the fatness of the earth. You know what I'm saying? They said they're going to um, leave it to their uh, generations yep. after them. Their grand, their kids, yep. their kids, kids, mm -hmm. their kids. Some of them are so look, they're going to always die and then come back eventually. See, the Rothschilds already knew they're going to come back in the reincarnation. Mm -hmm. That's why they let the men establish rulership and set everything up. They ain't let the women rule nothing. All right. You know what i They knew they're going to come back to that same wealth, man. The elite banging families, they believe in reincarnation. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But our people don't. We believe in it, though. Right. You know what I'm saying? So the people, you know what I'm saying, that died already on the earth, they're going to come back and have to fulfill their punishment. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They don't, they don't run up from judgment. Yeah. Like I so, say something on, yeah. the, uh, you was mentioning earlier about how Jake fight over blocks and neighborhoods and stuff yeah. like that that they don't even own. You, you, uh, this rapper, you know, Chief Keith, right? You know what I'm saying? You know, he came from Chicago, Old Block or whatever. This man, uh, so-called, has riches, right? And he tried to buy an old block, and Esau like, nah, you ain't having that block, right. man. Mm. So you over here fighting and killing each other over a block that you can't even buy right. at your front. See? That's Cause, a curse. Cause why, Cause why this is not our rest? Right. That's why. Man. Right. Just to bring that out. That that's it on that, bro? Yeah, go on. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, yeah, but hey, at, at the end of the day, I mean, we don't pay the property taxes on that thing. You know what I'm saying? Our rest, man. Yeah. Let's go back to um, I got this Matthew still. Yeah. You want to uh, finish that um, second Esther nine chapter? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Early. Come on, come on, come on. I'm gonna read this Matthew one more time though. The same Matthew chapter 24. Go back into prophecy. Yep. 
Say Matthew chapter 24. Well, which one are you going to, bro? Proverbs are good? Yeah, that's fine. We're going to get that. Somebody hold that on that phone. This is saying Matthew chapter 24, verse 3. And he sat upon the Mount of Olives, and the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us when these, tell us when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world? And Yahweh shall answer and say unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. Verse 6, and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. That's right. And right about now, we're hearing about wars and rumors of wars. You got America, you know, talking about shooting thermonuclear missiles and these other countries, you know, such as Russia, China, Syria, North Korea. You got these other countries talking about shooting nuclear missiles back over to this place called America. So right about now, we're hearing the wars and rumors of wars. Right. That's just like, you know what I'm saying, somebody might want to fight, man. They ain't got no fight with you yet. I'm gonna get that dude, yo. I'm gonna get that dude, yo. Uh, rumor is, is a talk of somebody mm -hmm. going, going to do something with you. Which a rumor usually, you got the definition? Oh, um, I got something else to that. You know, a rumor pretty much leads to fight. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yo, I go hear such and such say they're gonna do something right. to you. Word, word. Right. Then you're looking for that person. Mm -hmm. See, that rumor then turned into a fight. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You got it, brother. What is an example of it? Um, uh, breaking news, it says, Biden says new attack on Cabal Airport highly likely within the next 24 to 36 hours. And then my first question is, you know what I'm saying, uh, among all the other questions that I got, why would you let your enemy know when you're going to leave? Right. You know what I'm saying? That's Look, we're not ignorant of Satan devices, right? Why would you let your enemy know? Hey, look, we're pulling out on this right. thing. You know what I'm saying? We're gathering up everything, you know what I'm saying? We're getting the hell out of here on this day. Why, why wouldn't you, why wouldn't you uh, secretly do it? Right, you know right. what I'm saying? Then that's saying, you no, know, once you done got everybody out, that's when you'd be like, yo, everybody's out of there. Right. <laughs> why would you say, we, everybody get ready to leave, you know what I'm saying? Look, look, no, no, no. We, got about, we got about 300 people left there. Right. I mean, you get what? Other, what? I know, right? It doesn't make sense. But we got like, uh, no more littering, bro. Oh, sorry, right. Yeah, yeah, no more littering. You know what I'm saying? Remember, this is our earth. We gotta take care. No, no littering, brothers. No littering. We don't. We don't litter. This is our earth. You know what I'm saying? Remember, the earth was made for our sake. Oh, we gotta take care of the earth. You know what I'm saying? You know, we get kind of pissed off when we see people littering. I'm gonna throw no paper on the ground. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, going right back. Why would you say? And then, and then on top of that, um, oh yeah, we got like 300 people left in your land. Take, make, make sure you don't hurt them. Right. What? We got 300 people left in your land. Make sure you don't hurt them. No saying, oh, look, 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 and we're gonna be at this airport. So just leave us alone. Right. What? Right. We're not ignorant of what's going on, man. man. And if I could just say, how did ISIS get a hold of your your weapons? Yeah. When when you so called flee. Yeah. They was in there grabbing their AKs and all that. Right. Like, how you right. get a hold right. of Americans? You was you was leaving some places. Our weapons falling right, out. Right. 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 They in the go kart riding with their AKs hanging out. They got your they got right. your bulletproof vest on. That's a whole nother subject, yeah. though. Right. Read on. You said you had a quick precept? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You did. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Revelation 11 and 14. The second woe is past, and behold, the third woe coming quickly. That's right. And the second woe is already passed, which woe means death and destruction. You know, and that second woe is already passed. It's talking about World War II. But now we're coming into that time, to that third woe, the ultimate war, the end all be all wars, World War III. It's coming now. That's right. And going back to what the brother on Hawaii just quoted, I mean, on Red and Revelation, uh, we're going to hear wars and rumors of wars. Mm -hmm. That's World Matthew. War Three. Matthew. Hawaii. 24th chapter. Matthew, the 24th chapter. We're hearing about uh, uh, wars and rumors of wars. That's that World War Three that's coming quickly that we're seeing and hearing about. Going right back. That was the end of that around. Yes. Same Matthew chapter 24, verse 6. And you share wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled. That's right. So we're hearing about these wars and rumors of wars, but the scripture said, seeing that you be not troubled. Why? Because it tells you in um, what is it, uh, Thessalonians, uh, until you who are troubled, rest with us. So we're telling you, you so-called Negroes, Latin Americans, if you're troubled from what's going on and happening in the face of the earth, don't be troubled. Rest with us in this wisdom, not to understand these scriptures. But this mm -hmm. was keeping us comfort in these last days. It says, um, for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. That's right. right. So all these things have to come to pass. Mm. All these things must happen. But we're not. The end is not yet. We still got some more things that we gotta go through before Lord Yahweh Shah, who the warning called Jesus, come back and crack open the clouds and come back with a thousand, thousand heavens, which are the angels. Right. So we still got some more stuff that we gotta go through. That's right. 
So this devil most definitely got to come with, with his um, serpent piss. You know what I'm saying? He got to come with it, man. He got to come with all his tricks, all his schemes, all his devices, all that, man. Schemes, right. plots. He got to come with it, man. Mm -hmm. Scripture say, don't be afraid, though. Right. Some of us going to get cast into prison. Don't be afraid. We got examples. So you go right back to um, so Rock, the second chapter, verse 10. It tells us, um, look at the generations of old. They, they, they was put in situations, you know what I'm saying, dire straits. But the Lord delivered them out of that. Either way, it's a win-win situation. Win-win. Yeah. Right? All right? right? Either way, it's a win-win situation. If you have to be a martyr for Lord your house, you know how much honor that means, man? You know how much honor you're going to get, know, man? Right, to right. be a, a, a martyr for the Lord. You know what I'm saying? Standing in great boldness for your house, Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. Come on, man. That's a crown automatically, man. Right. Lord, what are we of that number, man? You gotta go out like that, but it's written. It's written. Somebody gonna have to um, fulfill that scripture. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. But the scripture said, "Be not troubled, though." Right? You gotta preach up. I gotta preach up some of the things that um, we just going into. It's the second Ezra, chapter 16. The scripture these things must first come to pass. Uh, now starting on uh, 17, it says, "Woe is me! Woe is me! Who will deliver me in those days?" That's right. Ezra saying this. Ezra said, "Woe is me! Woe is me! Who will deliver me in those days?" Because Edward had a vision, and he seen himself in this place called America. He seen the thing that was gonna be happening and taking place in these last days. And he said, "Woe is me! Death and destruction is me. Who's gonna deliver me, man? Who's gonna save me? Who's gonna help me in these times when it get ugly out here?" And that's the same spirit that we're coming in. We're coming in the spirit of Edward. Who's gonna help us? Who's gonna deliver us when the devil eat us so called white man come down with great wrath because he knows he got a short time? You know, who's gonna save us? Who's gonna help us when these pestles are all throughout the earth? Who's gonna help us when there's a famine of food and thirst taking place? And we already know. Yahweh by Shema was shot. Going right back to Proverbs 3 and 5. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not into thine own understanding. So we already know who's gonna help us. Right. The Lord said, No, saying, Look, my service shall eat. We're serving Yahweh by Shema was shot. My service shall drink. The majority of these people are gonna starve out, man. Right. I don't know how good you look. You know what I'm saying? How long your hair is. Right. How bright white your teeth is. No. Have you been fearing the Lord? Lord said, all those that fear me, you know what I'm saying, shall not want anything. You know what I'm saying? These people are pretty much gone, man. I mean, right. look at the earth right about now, man. Look, look at the people of the earth right about now, man. Nothing but luminous, man. No morals, no nothing, man. Right. Just thoughts everywhere, twerkers everywhere, booty, booty shakers everywhere, man. You made a great point. You made a great point because, you know, when you, you know, this truth, when you start to really understand, you know, all that stock, you know, yeah, that's cool and everything, but at the end of the day, you got to put your trust in the Lord, oh, yeah, man. Right. That's right. You know, you don't know where you're going to be, with, where it all pops on. You know where, what's, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, at the end of the day, trust in the Lord is, is where it's at, man. Oh, St. Luke, um, 2136. That's all they don't Who's there? I'm already there. Bring it on right there. Done. It's the book, uh, the book. Yeah, right. Yeah, that's right, brother. That's right, brother. The brother, you know saying? The brother went French or something. The brother went French on it, you know what I'm saying? It sounded like me, though. You know what I'm saying? This is uh, the book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 36. Brother Mother lived in France. Oh, no, right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it says, uh, watch ye therefore, verse 36, right? Yep. It says, uh, Luke 21 and 36, watch ye therefore and pray always. Got that, bro? It said, watch ye therefore and pray always. And that's what, that's what we're supposed to be doing. You know, the elect in these last days, the multiple believers, men, women, and children, we're going to be watching. Right there. And what are we yeah. going to be watching out for? The oncoming prophecies. We're supposed to be watching out for the MOTB because it's getting closer and closer for this thing to become um, made mandatory. You know, we're supposed to be watching out for every single prophecy that have been recorded in this Bible to come to pass. But at the same time, while we're watching for these prophecies to come to pass, we're supposed to be praying always, man. We ain't supposed to be praying one day, two days. We're supposed to be constantly praying without ceasing. Yep. The reason that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. That's right. So at the end of the day, you know you want to be accounted worthy to escape everything that's coming upon the face of the earth in these last days. Then you got to do what the scripture says. You got to be watching and you got to be praying, man, so that you can be accounted worthy to escape all these things and so that you can stand before the Son of Man. Lord, your house shot, man. I got a precept. But two thirds of people, they're not going to be accounted worthy to stand before the Son of the Man. Why? Because they're not watching. They're not praying. Hey, they're watching for concert and things, right? Right. right. They're watching for the, uh, the next, uh, the tour of the babies going to right. do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Jordan, right? yeah, yeah. This is um, Psalms, going right back to what the brother said about praying. This is Psalms chapter um, 55, 
verse um, 17. Matter of fact, um, 16. As for me, I will call upon the Most High, and the Lord shall save me. Even in the morning and at noon will I pray and cry aloud, and he shall hear my voice. This is Psalm chapter 55, verse 16. As for me, I will call upon the Most High. Yeah, how about Shem Yahweh Shai? That's right. It said, as for me. That's what we're doing. We're calling upon the names of your high by Shem Yahweh Shai. Well, while we're calling upon the names of your by Shem Yahweh Shai, you got the majority of our people out here walking around calling the names of Allah, calling the names of Buddha, calling on the names of Santa Maria, calling on the names of JC. And those names are not going to save you. Not, they're not real. But we're going to call them upon the true names, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, and they're going to save us. That's right. Well, when are we of that number? Oh, the really? Lord said, no, saying, ain't forsake any that call upon him. That's right. We sure no calling on the Lord, and we rehearsing the righteous acts to the best of our ability. That's you right. know, this, someone has to fulfill this scripture. You know what I'm saying? Right. Someone has to fulfill this scripture right here. To be called on and be saved and delivered, right? Somebody, right? It That's says, right. and the Lord shall save me. That's right, and the Lord's going to save us. You know, even before, you know, all hell breaks loose, which we're headed toward at that time. But just in our daily day life, Yahweh Bashim is going to save us through whatever trouble we're going through. Whether it's big hell or little hell. Yahweh Bashim is going to save us, man. Shit, hell is hell. You know what I'm saying? It says, evening and morning and at noon will I pray. That's right. Going back to what I quoted earlier. Praying without ceasing. We're going to be praying morning, noon, and night, man. Non-stop. Praying to Yahweh Bashim al You know, you can't be, you know... You can't be too good to never, you know, want to pray to your high Shema Shah. We should always be praying to your high Shema Shah. If I could just say, you made a good, a beautiful point. Um, the Lord uh, brought us back to our nationality. That's part of our nationality is praying. Pray without ceasing. Yep. That's, that's, we, we, all things has to come from your high Shema Shah. Yeah, that's part of our heritage. Yeah, that's, that's part of our DNA yep. is to pray. You know what I'm saying? We're a nation of prayers. You know what I'm saying? But y'all people um, that lost their way now, they're praying to us. Uh, um, other deities, mm -hmm. it ain't real. Now people are cruel too, man. So saying the Lord won't burn the majority of our people. He got to, man. He got to cook them, man. He got to, man. It says, um, it says, uh, evening and morning and at noon will I pray? Cause look, look, you don't, our people don't see what time it is. No, right? You're not, you're not crying to the Lord. You're not praying to the Lord. This devil about to come in with wrath, man. This devil is making it mandatory. You want to work? You know what I'm saying? You want to go into a restaurant? You know what I'm saying? You gotta drink the serpent's piss. You know what I'm saying? You know, you gotta right. kiss the golden egg, right. so to speak. You know what I'm saying? You know, you wanna survive in this earth. Yep. But 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 the whole but like I'm praying right about right. that. Tell you how about Shimmy I was shot. Right. And I and our, uh, our needs are being fulfilled right about mm -hmm. that, man. Right. Ain't none of us lacking bread. Right. Ain't none of us lacking water. The scripture said, tell you that, man. Have none of, have seen none of them lacking bread. You know what I'm yeah. saying? It's been calling on your house, but Shimmy I was shot. Yeah. Yeah, well, shit, we ain't bumming, we ain't bummed on the streets. You see us out here begging nobody for nothing, man. The Lord right. got us, right? right. Lord, right. The Lord truly do got us, man. Straight up. It says, um, will I pray and cry aloud, and he shall hear my voice. That's right. So we're praying and crying aloud unto the names of Yahweh by Shema and they're hearing our voice. Going back to um, Psalms the 34th chapter. This man, this poor man cried, and the Lord heard him and said him all his trouble. The Lord is hearing our voice, man. And Lord willing, we'll be that let number, you know, to um Make it up out of this place called America where our brothers are scattered around the four corners of the earth. Right. So going right back to that same Matthew says, be not troubled. We're not troubled, man. All these, we put our trust in the Lord. Once again, those that fear Yahweh, Shemel, Shai, ain't got to worry about nothing. But the Israelites that don't fear the Lord, they got to worry about everything. Our people are so worried right about nothing. They're like, you just give it to me once again. Mm -hmm. Just give it because I ain't got no hope. Right. I ain't got no faith in the Lord. So they're they, they going to follow this devil. You know what I'm saying? Whatever this devil say they're going to do. And then they threw them. They threw them, man. They threw them. Now that now you just you had you just committed on a Dutch spiritual adultery now. Mm. Saying, we, we are the Lord's woman, man. Yep. You know what I'm saying? That's our right. husband is on his way. That's how you know your husband, your, our husband come, you know what I'm saying? But you in the back room. Right. Bent dope. Mm. Spiritually. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You don't let the next man you know what I'm saying, whisper sweet nothings in your ear. Right. You know what I'm saying? We should we should have been like, get the hell on. Right. I'm married already. That's so right. that's what the whole flow is telling this devil. We married already, yo. That's right. Waiting on our husband, yo. Right. We're the right. bride waiting on the bridegroom, right? That's right. You know what I'm saying? The wedding is being prepared right about now. That's so right. most definitely you ain't sticking your you know what in me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Ah, yo. Yeah. 
I got some real fast. This is Psalms chapter 9, verse 9. It says, The Lord also will be a refuge for the oppressed, a refuge in time of trouble. And they that know thy name will put their trust in thee. Who is the oppressed? The Israelites. Right. Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans said the Lord shall be a refuge. A refuge is a place of hiding yep. for the oppressed, man. Oppression making for wise men mad and a gift to stroke the heart, right? right. You know what I'm saying? But our people trust in oppression. Our people trust in oppression. That's why they, they're saying they like to hell with it. It's going straight up there, man. Straight to the tent. Go straight to the tent. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Ain't thinking twice about it. But they trust in oppression. Right. They feel like this. They look. They look. They, they, they go into the tent just to be able to ride on the car. You see what our people are doing this nonsense for, man? For folly, man. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Just to be able to go to the gym, are you serious? Whatever happened to walk around the damn block? You know what I'm saying? Right. Jogging around the block. Whatever happened to right. dropping down, you right. know what I'm saying? Getting down, you know what I'm saying? Right. Whatever happened to push ups, man. That's right. You know what I'm saying? That's right. Whatever happened to, you know what I'm saying? Take two um, gallons of um, empty bottle um, yeah, uh, gallons, gallons of water, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Put some water in it, you know what I'm saying? Put it mm -hmm. on a stick, That's you know what I'm right. saying? And, and, and lift it up. Whatever happened to exercise? You know what I'm saying? Our people been know how to exercise. Right. right. Like right. you've been going to a gym all your life. You know what I'm saying, bro? Right. Like, like you grew up in a restaurant. I know, right? Whatever happened to I cooking know, at right? home? Yeah, you don't right. cook at home no more? But these people are lazy, man. Right. It's a microwave generation, man. Right. Yeah. You say it says, um, envy not the oppressor right. and choose none of his ways, man. Right. That's right. I can't right. go to the restaurant. I can't go here. I can't go there. Right. right. You just can't go there. Right. That's right. That's right, bro. Go ahead, though, brother. Yep. It reads on. It's Psalms 9 and 10. It says, and they that know thy name, that's why the name is very important. Very important. You can't just call the Lord anything. No, right? It says, will put their trust, their confidence in thee. For thou, Lord, has not forsaken them that seek thee. We're going to that word seeking means to search, yep. to look for. Inquiring minds want to know. Oh, yeah, asking about. You look up that word seek, it goes into asking about. You know what I'm saying? I should, our people should be here, out here asking what pleases the Lord. What, what, what are y'all out here talking about? Ain't nobody stopped yet, but which, which we ain't expecting nobody to stop anyway. We already know every weekend we come out here, you know what I'm saying? especially in these times that we're living in, you know what I'm saying? People are going to get further and further away from your howl about shimmy was shot. Especially if you didn't already took the arm of the serpent's piss off, yeah. clogging up your arm, your thinking, mm -hmm. the penal gland, you know what I'm saying? It's being overlapped, you know what I'm saying? That scissor, yeah, yeah. sipping on some scissor. I people, I people out there sipping on that scissor, bro. Right, they right. go on there, they on that purple, purple, purple scissor. Yeah. I people on that syrup, man. That's it. Yeah, they, they spiritually got that pump and dump piece on there. Right. Yeah, yeah. You know, when the Lord's coming back. He gonna see the look. That that, that, spirit, that spiritual, you know, pump and dump is on you. Mm -hmm. Right. Oh, you don't commit a fornication. Right. I'm gonna destroy you now. Right. <laughs> It says all the ways that you have about Shemel Shah are perfect. But well, why if you if you know that or you heard that, that's why the Lord said, Don't just hear my words. Do it be a do also. Yep. You know I'm saying the Lord don't just want us to just be heard what he's saying or what the prophet is saying. Be a doer of what the word is saying, man. You know? That's right, bro. Bring your precept. Um Proverbs 14 and 15. They can't break it down, you break it down. Con. The simple believeth every word, but the prudent man looketh well to his going. That's right, you know, Lord willing, like I said, we're the elect, but we're the prudent man, women and children out here. And we're looking well to our going. You know, we're seeing everything that's happening upon the face of the earth. You know, we're walking circumspectly. You know, and the reason why, you know, uh, we're foreseeing the evil is because we have the wisdom not to understand these scriptures, which is our God. You know, but while we're looking for, um, looking well to our going, you got two thirds of our people, so-called Negroes, Latin and Americans, they have become simple. You know, they're fools, they're meatballs. Why? Because they believe every word. They're trusting their devil, this devil eater, so-called white man, their enemy. You know, this devil's telling them to go get the jab. They're going to get the jab, the knockout blow. You know, this devil's telling them, the next thing you know, the devil's going to tell them to take the uh, MOTB, they're going to be taking that. So two thousand people, they have become simple. But we're looking well to our going, man. We see what's about to happen and take place upon the face of the earth. And we're hiding ourselves in the names of Yah, Abba, Shema, And if I could just say, too, the simple is going to believe every word because they don't fear the Lord. Because you're going to say fear is the beginning of knowledge and wisdom. So when you fear the Lord, the Lord gives you the knowledge and wisdom to understand who your enemies are. You know, the Lord sends you to the right teachers, give you the right breakdowns of what's getting ready to happen so you can be more prepared for it so you can look well to your going. You know, just, just land back on what you're saying. Going is pretty much going to like your way. You know what I'm saying? Your conduct. I got a quick precept. This is on uh, Proverbs. Proverbs.
Proverbs chapter 1, verse um, 22. How long, you simple ones, will you love simplicity? That's right, and that's what that's why we're out here. You know, we're telling you so called Negroes lie to America, you Israelites, coming through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim al Shah. How long are you going to love simplicity? How long are you going to walk up and down the, uh, the, the streets of America not knowing who you are? How long are you going to continue buying Christmas trees, you know, celebrating Christmas? How long are you going to continue to celebrate these pagan holidays, indulging in sodomy, indulging in uh, 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 committing adultery, doing everything the Yahweh Bashim al Shah is against? How long are you going to love simplicity, being a fool pretty much? Just following after the ways of Babylon, period. You know what I'm saying? This, this is a, um, a very simple kingdom. You know what I'm yes. saying? That's why. That's why everybody is simple-minded in this kingdom. Mm -hmm. They're doing all. They're doing the, the, the most craziest shit. You be like, well, man, they doing that, Joe? Mm -hmm. How long will you simple ones? Will you love simplicity? Man? Great challenge. I was just thinking. Yeah. I was literally just thinking that. Great challenge. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All these other challenges. Which the crate challenge, that thing went worldwide, yeah, Joe. Yeah. Get the crate challenge over there in London now. Oh, People yeah. over there, look, that one that yeah. one woman died, she um fell and busted uh, the back of her head, she died. Yeah. A, a woman died last week. No, I'm saying, matter of fact, it was this week, a woman died doing the crate challenge. Damn. How Fuck long will you simple ones love simplicity? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Still playing Easter eggs and all this nonsense, man. You know right. what I'm saying, bro? Right. Gone. Go you know. It says, um, how long will you simple ones love will you love simplicity? And the scorner delight in the scorning, and fools hate knowledge. Right. And hmm. the scorner delight in the scorning. You know, two thirds of our people, they get a kick out of talking trash about us. Oh, y'all got on dresses. You know? Y'all like some fools standing out on the corner preaching the Bible. Two thirds of our people, they get a kick out of talking trash about us. And they hate knowledge. Why? Going back to Proverbs 1 and 7. Because they're on fear of the Lord. And the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. And so, because two thirds of our people don't have no knowledge, that's why they hate knowledge. Because they don't fear the Lord. Psalms 78 says, Give ear, O my people, to my law. That's right. Who the Lord people? You so called Negroes, lie to Americans. And the Lord is telling you so called Negroes, lie to Americans by his, his men, his messengers, to give ear, listen to his law that we're bringing out to you, that we're preaching unto you. Yep, it says, Incline your ears to the words of my mouth. What's the mouthpiece of the Lord? The prophets. Hebrews 1 and 1, Amos 3 and 7. We're the mouthpiece of the Lord. And you so-called Negroes, Latin Americans, you're supposed to give ear. You're supposed to incline your ear to this message, to this truth. It says, verse 2, I will open my mouth in a parable. We already know the majority of our people ain't, though. So we're only out here for the elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, the Native Americans. We're not out here for every Tom, Dick, Harry, right. Larry, Larry, Curly, or Moe, man. Tanisha, Keisha, LaQuisha. Right. So we're not out here for all of them, man. Only out here for the elect of the nation of Israel. That's it, man. We know this word is gonna fall on deaf ear, man. That's we know right. the majority of our people are just gonna walk past the word. We ain't out here grabbing nobody arm, grabbing nobody hand, right? right. Um, the um, the ankles right. and all that. Nah, man. Whoever the Lord want to get the word, they're gonna get the word. Whoever the Lord don't want to get the word, they're not gonna get the word. Right. They're gonna walk past it because this this knowledge pretty much um, don't mean anything to our people. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's pretty much worthless to our people. Mm, when it's the right. greatest thing ever known to mankind, this knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scripture. That's why everybody else didn't bug the hell out already, drunk the, um, the serpent piss, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And we're chilling, you know what I'm saying? That's All right. hell's still breaking around around us. That's right. Brothers, stable as on no what, man. Stable. And our faith is growing and growing, man. Right. Why everybody else bugging the hell out. These people look like they're stable, but they're not. Right. And the scriptures tell us miserable are those that don't have the knowledge. That's right. So these people are miserable. Yo, they ain't down there. Uh, should I do it? Right. Should I not do it? So if you had the knowledge, you would already know that answer to that. Yeah, all right. You know what I'm saying? All right now. We're going, around, right. going around asking every day and asking every damn body. You know what I'm right. saying? We, we, did you do it? Did you do it? <laughs> we ain't asking no damn body. Hell no. You know what I'm saying? That's right. We ain't asking nobody. We, we ain't know. got to. That's right. If anything, people probably asking us. Right. But guess what? That's none of your damn business. That's you know right. What I'm saying? That's right, bro. It's personal business. That's like Girl. me telling you how much I get paid, how much is on my check. I know, right? right? This information you'll never find out. Bro. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's right. I got, I got one. I got, you, got, you got one right quick? I was still reading. You got one? Bring yours out. Or I'll bring yours out and I got something. Good. Psalm 78, 2, it says, I will open my mouth in a parable. I will utter dark sayings of old, which sit, which we have heard and known, and our fathers have told us. I'm just talking about this wisdom. All right, these are the deep dark sayings that we once knew before at a period of time. Going back to that Jew, you therefore put your remembrance of these things. That's why we all here week in and week out. Verse 4 says, We will not hide them from the children, showing to the generation to come the praises of the Lord and his strength 
and his wonderful works that he have done. We ain't gonna hide it from the children of Israel. That's it. The mysteries, the secrets that we have been given, free to give, free to receive, we give it, man. We out here giving out this knowledge. We out here giving <laughs> mysteries, bringing down parables and all that to the children. What children? The children of Israel, mm -hmm. which consists of the Negroes, Latins, and Native Americans. But what our people do is walk past. Yeah. Know what I'm saying? Ignore. It ain't meant for them to get this mystery. It ain't meant for them to get the gospel, man, the good news, man. Right? That's right. a beautiful thing. I got a precept. Uh -huh. uh, so, Rock 39 and 1. But he that giveth his mind to the law of the Most High, and is occupied in the meditation thereof, will seek out the wisdom of all the ancients and be occupied in prophecy. That's right, and we're seeking out the the Bible. Sorry, we don't want to rock it. So, Rock chapter thirty-nine, verse one. But he that giveth his mind to the law of the Most High, and is occupied in the meditation thereof. This is the only thing we're supposed to be thinking about in this word. Nothing else. That's you right. see the people that ain't thinking about this word, look at, look at their mind right about now. This shit is unstable, man. Yeah. When meditating on the words you have, but you know, that, that's what stabilizes your mind, man. That's All right? Because right. when your mind is not stable, it's everywhere, man. Your mind over here, your mind over there, your mind up there, your mind down there. You bugging yourself out. These people are literally bugging themselves out, man. That's right, bro. Over something that's so simple, man. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? They can easily be answered, man. We're supposed to be meditating on this word, right? Right. It says, um, and is occupied, pretty much, you know what I'm saying? Look up at get that definition for occupied or bring it out all the time. We're supposed to be occupied in this word. As soon as you get it, bring it out. Yep, the definition of occupied, it says busy and active. Right, so we're, we're busy, we're active. We, didn't we bring it out on the definition earlier? Active? Oh, active. Yeah, yeah, what is yeah, it? Yeah. Stir? Yep. Um, stir? Stir, yeah. Yeah, yeah stir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So our mind's been stirred up by way of remembrance. Right. Then we're active. Then, then we're right. getting busy. Then, then we look, we're reading, we study, we producing shows. We're out here on the highways and byways because we're active. You know what I'm saying? We're active occupied in the Lord's right. business, man. Right. This is a business right here. Mm -hmm. We at work right about now. So if you're at work and you're not occupied, that means you're sloth or you're lazy. That's we're right. occupied. Yep. We're busy. What, yep. What's the definition again, bro? All right. It says, um, it says busy and active. Right. Because the scripture tells us, um, be not slothful. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? <coughs> um, what does it say? Um, be an example. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. um, what does what what the scripture say? Um, and I desire that you all show the same diligence. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to the words you have, mm -hmm. about shot, all of us need to be um, examples of how to be diligent. We got examples, the apostles. We got um, men of the scripture and men on the earth right about now. Mm -hmm. The apostles of how diligent you need to be, mm -hmm. man. We gotta, show, we gotta show forth diligence. Right. Go ahead. It says engaged. Right. We, 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 we engage. Yeah. You wanna go into that? Yeah, get engaged. Get involved. Right. You know, you know get get involved in, in the Lord made it so easy like the, the brother was going into. He set up examples here on the face of the earth. Mm -hmm. Five active examples right. of men breaking down hundred percent truth. That's right. So you don't gotta, you know, back when we didn't have the truth, we was confused. Well, right. what is this breakdown going to? What does that mean? What does this mean? Now the Lord made it easy for us. All we gotta do is get involved, we gotta get active. Made you know? a plane upon tables. Made a plane upon tables, yo. Uh, last one. Yeah. It says, um, that's pretty much it. So, so all of us got to get involved. You know what I'm saying? We're a body. Everybody got to do their part. Right. We're in the house building, right? Yeah. So everybody, you might be on the um, second floor building. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm I might be on the ground floor building. Yeah, yeah. Who knows where you at? As long as you're in the house, you mm -hmm. better be doing something. Yeah. If you're in the house, be doing something, man. The Lord said be occupied. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Until the house get built, right? It says, and, and is occupied in the meditation thereof, will seek out, will seek out the wisdom of all the ancients. Who are the ancients? Our forefathers. You know what I'm saying? You will seek out all the, the wisdom of all the ancients and be occupied in prophecy. Which is the it's just say before. See, we're occupied in the prophecy, the wars, the rooms of wars, you know what I'm saying? Um, Maxine Waters, that's mm -hmm. part of the prophecy, the MOTB, that's part of the prophecy. We're occupied. We're, right. we're constantly watching. You know what I'm saying? We're constantly praying. We read St. Luke. Can we read St. Luke 21, 36? No, no, yeah, we, we want to read that again. Yeah. We're watching and praying, you know what I'm saying? We're occupied in the prophecy that we may be kind of worthy to be delivered from it, man. Because look, you can't stop prophecy. Right. You can't stop wars, can't stop right. rumors of wars, can't stop a famine, can't stop the death and destruction of this place. That's why we're constantly watching, man. You know? Bring it out right quick, bro. God, yes, this is Luke 21 and 36. It says, watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass. That's to stand before the Son of Man. Because you can't stop it. I know, right? Everything that we're reading about is going to come to pass. You can't stop it. But we want the Lord willing to be counted worthy to escape everything that's coming. 
can't sca escape martial law. I know, right? You know what I'm saying? The, the FEMA troops, you know what I'm saying? The concentration camps, yeah. you know? We get thrown in when we want to be Lord Willard County worthy to yes. escape it though, man. Right. Just like, you know what I'm saying? The Apostle Peter, you know what I'm saying? He was thrown mm -hmm. in the prison. Right. He got delivered, man. The angels going to be on our side in that day, man. Lord Willard, we have that number, man. That's right. Mm -hmm. The Lord said, I'm going to get the angels charge over you. Yeah. Luke 21, I should have started there, but oh, yeah. Yeah. it says Luke 21 and 34, uh, it says, and take heed to yourselves, right. least at any time your hearts be overcharged with something. Right, all this partying, having fun, go ahead. It says, that's why, that's why, that's why the scripture I read, it says you're supposed to be occupied in prophecy. Okay. So you won't be overcharged with surfeiting, you know, all this partying, and this is uh, just Saturday. This is a party day. This is the day of the world. All One right. thing people think about is partying, having fun, getting it in, right? Go ahead. Yep. It reads on. It says, Luke 21 and 34. Take heed to yourselves at any time your heart be overcharged. All right. Yourself. With suffering and something. drunkenness. What's the drunkenness? These other philosophies and doctrines is out here. That YOLO spirit that's promoted heavy. Uh, when they're wrong, do what's wrong, do. Mm -hmm. This is modern day wrong all over again. It oh, yeah. says, um, and the cares of this life, mm. and so that that day come upon you unaware. That's the only thing people worry about is the cares of this life. Well, wow, look, look, my job, right? Yeah. My job, where I'ma stay, where I'ma eat, right. what I'ma wear, you know what I'm saying? Things of that nature, you know what I mean? The cares of this life, mm -hmm. right. which leads to nothing, man. At least are you bugging yourself the hell out, man, when you're worried about the cares of this life. Yep. How people perceive you. You know what I'm saying? Uh, These people don't give a damn about you. Why are you worried about how what people think about you? That's people right. don't give a damn about right. you, man. That's These right, people don't girl. care if you live or die, man. That's you know? Care. You got it. Yep, verse 35, it says, For as a snare, it should come on all them that dwell on the face of the whole earth. Yeah, if you ain't watching. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's going to come upon you. It's going to trap you up. You'll get trapped up with everything that's going on mm -hmm. out here, man. You know? Oh yeah, that's why the scripture say, um, let go from thee the mortal thoughts of man. Yep. I always worried about the, the shit that everybody else worried about. These people are so worried about their damn job, you know what I'm saying? They ain't got no confidence in your high about shooting out shot. They like um they're taking the um the okay focus. You know what I'm saying? You know, put your left foot in, right, right. put your right foot out, yeah, put yeah. your left foot in, <laughs> and you shake yeah, it all about. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Focus, you know what I mean? They got them doing it. All right. right. <laughs> so it's like, man, meditate on these scriptures right here, man. That's, right. That's all we have. The Lord is showing us the way. Yep. That's right. You got it. The way. Uh, 136 again. Yeah. Yep. Reading on down, it says, verse 35, for as a snare should come upon all the earth, all them that dwell upon the face of the earth, the whole earth. Right. It says, watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. That's yeah. a lot. It's a lot coming down the yeah. pipeline, yeah. man. That's why we got to go back to that prophecy in Second Ezra, the 16th chapter. They're going to tell you the things that you're going to have to uh, 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 watch and pray for to be able to escape. So we can say a whole bunch of things, but the scripture can say it better than what we can. Right. So I'm going to go back. So Rock chapter 39. So we're going to be occupied in prophecy, right? Mm -hmm. That means to say before, right? So we're keeping up with the wars, rumors of wars, um, the economy. You yep. know what I'm saying? Yep. We're watching the dollar. Right. We're watching everything, man. You know, mm -hmm. watching, we're watching the, um, different legislations, yep. different right. bills that are being passed. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, the different mandates. Yep. We occupied. All that's part of prophecy. We occupied in it, y'all. Yep. We ain't, we ain't missing a beat. The movies. Yeah. We're not missing a beat, y'all. Mm -hmm. I people don't know what the hell going on. Why people was um partying for the year 2021? Shit, we was somewhat meditating on the scripture. Right. You know what I'm saying? Bringing out lessons, man. Right. That's right, Things bro. of that nature. That's that's it. It. It says, um, cause you read some, you read a scripture earlier that had uh, parables in it, right? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Which yeah. is um, a deep, dark saying, yeah, right? Yeah, it, it says, um, he will keep the sayings of the renowned men, and where subtile parables are, he will be there also. You know what I'm saying? And where can you find the subtile parables at? The word. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? This is what our mind stays on. This is what our mind is upon, man. Yep. The prophecies, the parables, the mysteries, the secrets, right? It says, um, he will seek out the secrets. He will build up his secrets into those he fear. He will seek out the secrets of great sentences and be conversing in dark parables. And look, look and we're conversing in dark parables, right? Mm -hmm. That's our conversation, right? Yep. Breaking down these parables, breaking right? down the parables. To each other. 
That's right. Our people don't know what the hell is going on. They read the scripture, they hear of a dragon, they think about a, a mystical creature. You know what I'm saying? Flying around and all that, right? right. They hear about the beast, you know what I'm saying? They think about a damn animal. <laughs> <laughs> they looking for a damn animal and all that. Nah, right. man. It's talking about this system. Right. You know what I'm saying? You know. Um, EU and NATO, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But our people don't know that. Right, you know? right. But but if you're around the men, you know what I'm saying, it's breaking out the parables, mm -hmm. you're going to know what time it is. Know. We know what to look for, man. That's yeah, right. Y'all got it. I got it. Yeah, Bring yeah. out something he can break down to. You made a great point because it's just like you've been around someone who speaks, because this is a different language to Right, you. yeah. So when you, you know, you brought someone who's speaking, uh, let's say, uh, German, you know, or, 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 or French. French. Right. You know, you like, it, Come on, man. You know, speak English. I don't want to hear right, that. Right, right. You know, I want to understand what you're saying. Right. But it's not meant for two thirds of our people to get it. Like right. You said this this word, this deep thought parables and sayings, is only for that one out of a thousand that yep. need in the haste, that need the remnant, the elect. Going right back into like Charlie Brown. Everybody right. grew up on Charlie Brown, right. right? Charlie Brown being in the class. That's how you know the teacher say something. Womp, 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 womp. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell did she say? That's ain't no Charlie Brown go, get up and he go to the know, board. Right? Oh, so she must have she must have told him to go up to the board and write something on the board. Right. Charlie Brown, know what I'm saying, broke down the parable. You know what I'm saying? Yep. That's how it is when we out here, yo. Mm -hmm. We sound like the teacher. You know what I'm saying? Talking to Charlie Brown. And only the true listeners, the ones that can understand what we're saying, mm -hmm. are gonna take heed. Just like right, Charlie though. Brown took heed to what yeah. the teacher was saying. You're yeah. like, wah, 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 wah. That's ain't yeah. no Charlie Brown, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, I'm like, oh, yeah. So that's what the teacher must have said. Right. But the teacher was talking parabolic talk, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. Just like we're doing right about them. That's right. You got it. It's Revelation chapter 19, verse 10. It says, And I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, See thou, do it not. I am thy fellow servant, and of thy brethren. Right. So John the Revelator, he fell, fell down at the angel's feet, you know, to worship the angel. Right. Pretty much to get the angel all the um, glory and the praises. And the angel responds back to him with what? Yep. It says, And have the, of thy brethren that have the testimony of your house shy. Mm -hmm. Worship your house, for the testimony of your house shy is the spirit of prophecy. That's right, and that's how you're going to know who has the testimony of the Lord Yahweh shy. It's the ones like Big Bro, which is going into, which is supposed to be occupied in prophecy. That's how you're going to know who has the uh, the testimony of Lord Yahweh Shah because they're going to be speaking the prophecy according to what's written in his Bible. You know, you got true men uh, that's been set upon the face of the earth who's going into prophecy versus the false prophets out here who are not going into prophecy. So that's how you're going to be able to make that distinction of who, who, who the true men of the Lord because we're occupied with prophecy. We're meditating upon his law day and night, letting our people know, you know, what's going to happen in these last days. You know, we're telling our people it's going to be a famine, a food and thirst. We're telling our people that concentrations are being built. You know, you're going to get thrown of them, go thrown into them. You know, it's telling you the teeth of wild beasts going to be out here in these last days. So the true men of the Lord, the true prophets are going to be going into the uh, spirit of prophecy because we have the testimony of Lord Yahweh. Um, Jeremiah 28 and 8. Jeremiah 28. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kings of war and of evil and of pestilence. That's right. So the prophets that was before Jeremiah and the prophets who came after Jeremiah, what did they do? They prophesied against many countries and against great kingdoms. In the same way the ancient prophets prophesied against many countries and great kingdoms, we're coming in that same spirit. We're prophesying against many countries and great kingdoms. We're prophesying on the downfall and destruction of this wicked place called America. You know, we're saying everything that's written according to this Bible or what's going to happen to this place. We're saying that what? It's going to be evil. Evil means bad times. We're coming to nothing but bad times in these last days, these final moments, these final seconds. You know, we're saying that there's going to be a uh, pestilence, you know, enough diseases. You got this Crown Royal Night scene going on. You know, you got this Delta going on. So this is definitely a, a pestilence, you know, a, 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 a pestilence, a disease thing that's happening right about now. Right. And then we're hearing about, um, and then we're also going into wars. Again, like we were going into earlier, you got World War III happening, the ultimate war. What's going to be the end all, be all wars? You know, you're going to have the civil wars happening. So this is the same way the ancient prophets went into all these things, and the same way the prophets today, starting with a head apostle of the Great Millstone, down and younger brothers like ourselves, the same thing we're doing. Yeah, you made a statement. This is Ezekiel 7 and 5. Thus saith the Lord power. It says, and evil, and only evil, behold, is come. That's right. So this is what the Lord, Yahweh Shema Washah, is saying through Ezekiel. You know, and we're coming in the spirit of Ezekiel. We're saying that what? 
it's going to be evils and only evils that's coming to the face of the earth mainly to this place called america for all his wickedness man because this place is being ran in wickedness by this devil eating so-called white man you know and you got the majority of these people out here falling after this devil and we're saying hey man evils and only evils is coming pay attention watch watch the news take heed to the men of the lord the prophets what we're telling you it's not gonna get any better out here it reads and in this country and this come. This the this the best that it's gonna get. You know what I'm saying? Right. And, and you see this devil, you know what I'm saying, coming with his um serpent's piss, telling you, you know what I'm saying, that I'm gonna make it better. And you can clearly see it ain't gonna get no better. Right. Oh yeah, I'm gonna make it better for you, you know what I'm saying? Just follow me. It ain't gonna get no better. Right. Man. Come on, man. It's only it's only getting worse for the last five hundred years, it only been getting worse, man. Right. Every year it gets worse, man. Uh -huh. But oh yeah, now uh, the next five hundred years is gonna be smooth sun. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. We out of here soon, come man, Lord willing, man. That's right. right. Giving our people false hope. You got like it, bro. You got it. I can just say, what do you expect the, the, the men of the Lord, the Lord set up to do? Right. They have the testimony of Yahweh Shai, the witness. You you expect the witness to go on and stand and tell a lie? Right. We, the, the Lord gave us the spirit to tell the truth, the 100% right. truth, and Lord willing, we endure. They're not going to tell you good times are coming. Right. When the scriptures say otherwise, you can't you can't um, force the Lord to, to, the Lord set up men that's going to speak 100% truth to the Bible, you can't force him to tell opposite, man. Right. You know? All this is Cause, coming, definitely. Cause, um, you know, uh, now, now I'm just going to say, um, it's a wicked, filthy act, pretty much. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. As a matter of fact, so, uh, what's that other one? Uh, uh, not an abomination, but that other uh, one. A wicked, filthy act. A wicked, filthy lie. Um, what's, that, what's that What's that one? It's a wicked, filthy lie? You got an abomination of the wicked, filthy oh, act. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got a lie that's, um, hypocrisy. We'll figure it out. I got a precept. Zechariah chapter 8, verse 16. These are the things that ye shall do. Speak ye every man the truth to his neighbor. That's right, and that's what we're doing. We're speaking every man, woman, and child. We're speaking the truth to you. Who is that? You Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latin Americans. You know your fellow neighbors. And that's what we're supposed to be coming to through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shemal Shah. We're supposed to be coming to you, speaking truth to you. What truth? This wisdom now to understand these scriptures. This is what we're bringing to you. Our people, they love lies, though. I'll tell you that in um, Isaiah the 30th chapter. Our people do not want the truth. We realize that now. All right? All right. That's right. Only the elect is searching and seeking for the truth, man. The majority of our people don't want the truth. They don't want right? it. Right? you smack them in the face with it, they'll get mad. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. They don't want the truth, even if it costs them their life. Right. They do not right. want the truth, right? Right. But these are the things that we got to do, though. No right. matter what. Like like um, right. Ross said, you know what I'm saying? We're not going to... I'm not gonna com compromise the words that you have about Shemel right. Shine just to make you feel good. You get mad, damn it, you get mad. Yeah. You know say cry aloud, spare right. not. Lift up your voice like a trumpet, man. That's right. Part of blowing that trumpet is blowing it the right way. That's right. You know? You got a trumpet, but you stayed blowing it the wrong way. Know, Somebody right? taught you to blow it the right way. You was in trumpet school, you know what I'm saying? You went to trumpet school, you know what I'm saying? The teacher uh, taught you perfectly right. how to blow that trumpet, but you, you still wanna blow it your way. Right. He taught you the right way to do it, so look, we're blowing it the right way. That's, That's right. right. That's a I knew someone who was playing the trumpet. Right. And it wasn't good. They did two years of it. Now, the price, the price went down. Look, this is not for you. Right. They weren't paying attention. Exactly. You right. know what I'm saying? It's they they won't they won't occupy them. Yep. Like when you're at home, you gotta be blowing the trumpet. Hell yeah. When you're in class, you gotta be Hell blowing the yeah. trumpet. When you're at the party, you gotta be blowing the yep. trumpet. When you fucking um in your leisure time, yep. you gotta be blowing the trumpet. Anything That's you wanna be good at, mm -hmm. you gotta be doing it. While everybody else doing what they gotta do, everybody partying, having fun. If your job is to learn how to blow that trumpet, then blow the trumpet. Yep. That's right. So when you blow it, you know what I'm saying, that good sound come out, people are like, oh yep. shit. That's right. Yeah, he's been practicing, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Right. He didn't master that trumpet. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Once again, Zechariah. Chapter 8, verse 16. These are the things that ye shall do. Speak ye every man the truth to his neighbor. Because that's, right. that's going to set us free. You got it. Oh, that's right. And uh, another thing I'm going to say real quick is that these are the things that you should do. Speak ye truth to your neighbor. You know, and the reason why we're coming to speak truth to you, so called Negroes, Latino, and Americans, is because what? We don't want your blood on our hands right. when, when, when judgment comes down upon you. Right. So the show no come. Right. See, see, our people don't know the judgment coming. Judgment is here. The Lord say he bring forth judgment every day, but the unjust know of no shame. So no matter how many people, you see all these people getting kicked out of their damn house? What is Hell it, yeah. mandatorium? Uh, moratorium. Moratorium is going down. People getting kicked out of their house left and right. 
But you got these people, you know what I'm saying, with sheriff warrants on their door, where the sheriff, you know what I'm saying, not on their door, you know what I'm saying, this morning shit, they answer the door, right? But now, you know what I'm saying, they came out there, they ain't trying to go get no rent money in there, they came downtown to go to the festival over there. Yeah. I got sheriff just knocking on your door, you know what I'm saying, telling you you need to get out the house. But you didn't answer the door, right? So by the time you get back home, the sheriff, you know what I'm saying, they pad out the damn door. Hell but yeah. you was too busy, you know what I'm saying, caring about the affairs of this world. Mm. Which scriptures told us don't worry about that, right? right. You know what I'm supposed to be worried about this truth. It says, um, execute the judgment of truth and peace in your gates. The gates represents the leaders. Mm -hmm. That's what we're doing. You're giving you the judgment of the Lord. Yes. If you don't take heed to it, then that's on you, man. We can't, we can't make you take heed to the word either. Our job is to just come out here and teach the word, give it to your raw. Right, you know what I'm right. saying? Uncut. Give it to your yeah, raw, you. uncut. It is what it right. is. That's right. That. Right. We wipe our hands out of that. That's right. That's right. You got it. And that's why this scripture says only evil is come. Because we're living, reliving a time again for Israel's punishment. Israel's been punished many a times upon the earth, man. But this time it's going to be like a time that's never been before. All right? It tells you Matthew 24 chapter. So read on. It says Ezekiel 7 and 6. It says, and an end is come. The end is come. And watch it for thee. Behold, it is come. Yeah, man. So the end is come, man. The end of the devil eat us so far. Man's rulership is aid. It's come, man. His time is up. And we're seeing it because what? We've been measuring the times dealing with itself. This is at a point of time for these prophecies to happen. And we're telling you so-called Negroes, Latin Americans, to take heed, which we know that two thousand people are not, and that's gonna be on that's gonna be on them pretty much. Uh, First Thessalonians five and one, but of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. That's right. Somebody, Bible John, Romans eleven chapter. Uh, it says, brother, read that again. Yep. First Thessalonians five and one. Thirteen. Uh, First Thessalonians 5 and 1. But of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. That's right. So Paul saying, brother, but of the times and the seasons, there's no need for him to write unto us. And why is there no need for Paul to write unto us? Because we should already know the times that we're living in. Mm -hmm. We should already know what's happening right about now. We should be wide awoke, you know? Mm -hmm. If you ain't paying attention, like I said, that's on you. But we're out here week in and week out, we're throwing videos all over the internet, you know, so that you so-called Negroes, Latin Americans, can know the season and the times that you're living in. That's right, bro. Because the scripture said brethren. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's not a brethren. Everybody's not a brother. That's to right. the brothers, I ain't got to write it to you what time it is. You right. already know. You're watching. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Right. So now that we know, know so we come out here and we tell our people, we tell the other brothers. You know right. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They know what time it is. And if they don't know what time it is, we come out here and let them know what time it is. Mm -hmm. The brethren is, though. The whole for elect. Yep. See, back in the era, two thousand years ago, every Israelite won't walk around with right. no Bible, man. Right. Every Israelite won't walk around with the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures. That's Come right. on, man. They rejected it. They rejected the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures. Mm -hmm. AKA Lord Yahweh Shai, when he was on the scene over two thousand years ago, man. Right. They rejected the Lord. They followed after those um, false prophets. Yep. Yeah. It's back here now. You know what I'm saying it was teaching false doctrines. You had the false prophets telling our people to um, get down with the system, man. That's yeah. right. Remember. Yeah. And we, we, we don't hurry up and get them out of the way. The Romans gonna take away our position. Yeah. That's right. what our people yeah. say. Yeah. Our people are more worried about their position than, right. than salvation, yep. man. Yeah, absolutely. Man. That's right. You got it, bro. I want to bring this piece of the back. It is. Um, uh, those are the not everyone of Israel is a Hebrew. Yeah, I'm just trying, trying to get Romans. Romans, Romans eleven twenty six. Okay, yep, I got it. Okay. Um, it says, and so all eleven twenty six. You know, people say, oh, it's always been earthquakes. It's always been, you know, famines. But not at the rate it's happening. Look at look at down there in Haiti, right. Levi land, right? They, they had just went through an earthquake, and then what happened? Isaiah 29 and 6 hit him. Right. Those storms and tempests. So that's how we know the Lord's visiting this place. Now we know it's time to wake the hell out of this uh, spiritual uh, 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 death. Um, yeah, coma that we're in, man, as a people. I'll go back, I'll go back to that. I can't find it. Uh, going back. Romans 13, right? Yeah, it's Romans 13 and 11, and that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. That's right. So that's why there ain't no need for Paul to write unto us, because we're supposed to already know the times that we're living in. Going back to 2 Andrew 9, verse 1. If you're measuring the times, that's how you're going to know the times that you're living in. And therefore, you will already know what's happening and taking place, on the, taking place upon the face of the earth. So knowing the time that we're living in, or what's happening right before our eyes, it's time for you so-called Negroes, Latin Americans to wake up out of sleep, man. You know, that being in that dead state of mind, from falling to this place called America. 
It's time to wake up out of that and come back to who you was created to be. The children of Israel from whatever tribe you're from. It's time to come back to the keeping the law, statutes, and commandments of the Bible to the best of your ability because we're at the end of this thing. That's a good point you said that. You know, I, I knew um, back here a few years ago, but it kept snowing like every other, like two weeks it kept snowing and snowing. And uh, I was at work and the guy said, yeah, man, you know, we're trying to get snow, but I don't get it like that, you know, back to back to back to back. So, well, it's business place, man. You know, and I, and I, and I after, after that, I probably seen him two more times, and I never seen him again. Oh, wow. Never seen him again, man. The spirit made me think that could have been an angel. You know, dark skin, beard, you know, but angels come in the form, but this, you know, the Lord's visiting this place, man. Now it's time to, to get up out of the sleep. Right. Yeah. Isaiah chapter 29, verse 6. Yep. Thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts with thunder. That's right. And have we not been being visited by Yahweh by Shemal Shah with thunder? You hear them loud noise in the sky? That's Yahweh by Shemal Shah visiting the earth with thunder. You people get scared, you know, start shaking. You have Bashi Mashah visiting the whole earth with thunder. It says, um, and with earthquakes. And with earthquakes. Brothers going to this every week almost. Pull the, um, the earthquake app. It's earthquakes happening in diverse places all throughout the earth. And then it says the Lord of hosts, the Lord of armies. You know what I'm saying? It says the Lord of armies shall, shall visit the earth with earthquakes. The Lord of armies, man, not a nice guy. Not the guy, you know what I'm saying, that you can just go and shake hands with. No, right. You know what I'm saying? And make him your best friend. No, right. no. It's the Lord of Armies, man. That's you know what I'm saying? A warrior. warrior. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Elishaja, demon-like power, man. Warrior. Which you don't want to see, man. All right? The one that, you know, the, the one that can make things go bump in the night. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It right. says, um, and with earthquake and great noise, with storm and tempest and the flame of devouring fire. It said, and with great noise and those thunderstorms. You know, those earthquakes, you know, uh, these these tempests, all these make great noise. It said what? Storm and tempest. You see these hurricanes, you know? Yeah. That's your high about my shot, visiting the earth, man. Uh, it said what? In flame of divine fire. You got yeah. these forest fires happening. Yeah. These, uh, I can't remember what it was, but you had on, was it, I think, yeah. Europe? Shit, California's still yeah, on fire. California, Europe. Oh, yeah, Australia. Yeah. Australia, Australia was on yeah. fire like tomorrow. Turkey, because they had to get on the boat in the back. But this is Jehovah Bashim al -Shah. Everything that the brother just read, visiting the whole earth, man. Yeah. Bringing disaster and destruction to this place. So why wouldn't you fear? Right. It's like, why wouldn't you fear? You see the Lord bringing all these things. Why wouldn't you fear? Another reason why we should fear, man. All right? Shit, look over there in Haiti. You know what I'm saying? You got people buried like I don't know what. They ain't going to never come up out of that dirt, that dirt man. Right. You know, bodies crunched for real, for real, y'all. Bodies straight up splatter. So when you ain't pulling, you ain't, ain't, ain't nothing but flesh, some splatter flesh. Over the concrete, over the bricks, red. You know what I'm saying? Right. Red. Just like the Lord made that building go down in Miami. You know what oh, I'm saying? Yeah. Look, look, ain't no talk more talks about that, right? right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Ain't no recovery. You know they've been there. Ain't nobody recovering shit, man. Right. Unless an angel, you know what I'm saying? Oh, you like right. this, you know what I'm saying? Right. You dead is on no water front of that building. Then they knock down the other building. So it's easier this way for us to look to find the people. That, that makes sense. A building fell down on some people, so we're going to knock another building down. That's going to make it easier for us to find the people up under there. And you people fell for it. So, yeah, I think that's a good idea. Right. Come on, man. Just like this just like this dude, you know what I'm saying, someone's mom, the vaccinated, you know what I'm saying, the unvaccinated is getting vaccinated. Come on, man. Let it, let it all make sense, right. man. You know, it, it, it's, it's not, though. That was it on that. Thirteen, verse twelve. I didn't finish eleven. I'm gonna read eleven again. Romans chapter thirteen, verse eleven. Yeah. And it reads, and that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep, for our for now is our salvation nearer than we believe. That's right. It said, for now is our salvation nearer than we, 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 we believe. The hope of the elect, man. Our big bro, lawyer Howard shot man, get ready to crack up on them clouds and come back with the chariots, which you people ignorantly call UFOs. With the thousands of thousands of heaven, we're gonna get beaten up on them, Lord willing, and go home, man. Our salvation is there when we believe. But first, you gotta wake up, man. You gotta see what's going on. You gotta see what's happening throughout the, uh, the, the four corners of the earth and get right with Yahweh Shemal Shah before it's too late. The scriptures tell us to be as pilgrims upon the face of the earth, man. What is a pilgrim known for, man? Moving around, That's right. not being settled. How people are settled, you know what I'm saying? How people are settled on their leaves, as the scriptures have said. How people don't want to go no damn well, man. How people ain't trying to get out of America. I know, man. right? You know what I'm saying? They just want to keep going to the damn job. You know what I'm saying? A job they know they don't like. 
You know what I'm saying? A job that they know they frustrated with. Uh, yeah. Give my job, man. My job, man. I'm doing it for my job, man. My job, man. Come on, man. Look, you, you fuck around, you know what I'm saying? Take that servant's fist. That's how you know the, the Lord destroyed this place. Yeah. The economy yep. crashed. Yep. And you lose your job. Right, then, right. Then, what? then what? That's how you know you sit somewhere in a fetus position, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like in a smoking. fetus position, yeah. Like smoking, like smoking in a chicken coop, man. <laughs> right? Right. Damn, how long were you sipping one's love simplicity, man? Right. I feel, I feel for real, for real through, man. Yeah. Go ahead, bro. I got yep. to Yep. It says on uh, verse 12, Romans 13 and 12, The night is far spent. The day, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast out the works. That of night represents Sleaze E. The day represents the Lord. Yep. The night is far spent, man. You've been committing wicked ass long enough, man. Getting down with Sleaze E long enough, man. You know? The night is far spent, the day is at hand. That's time for Lord Yahweh Shai. He represents the morning star, right? It's time for the day to come through now, man. All right? Another rulership. Remember uh, Sleazy E? Esau Edom is the end of the world. Jacob yep. is the beginning of it, the follow of man. That's right. We're coming into a change of, um, of rulership, man. Nice. Remember um, the Lord said he's going to put one over it that is profitable? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Remember um, the Lord said um, for, uh, because of unrighteous dealings, and injuries got gotten by, um, yeah. Seat, got by the seat, you know what I'm yep. saying? The kingdom shall be translated. You know what I'm saying? The power yep. shall be translated. Uh, one of y'all can have that brother, you know what I'm saying? The comments. Take it slow. Go ahead, though, I got a quick precept. It's Acts 17 and 30. And the times of this ignorance, you have Have a mouth, bro. It says, Acts 17 and 30. Oh. And the oh, times yeah. of this ignorance, you have a weak at. But now command of all men everywhere to repent. Mm. Right, but the time of, you know, our ignorance, when we didn't have this truth, when we didn't know who we are, who we were, the time when we was out here committing wicked at, Yahweh Bashim al Shah, they went to our ignorance, man. They gave us a, a pass, because we ain't know no better. But now he's commanding all men everywhere, and all men, all men meaning you Israelites, so called Negroes, Latin Americans, and women and children, to repent, come back unto them. And that's what you see in the hope of elect. You know, uh, 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 returning back unto Yahweh Bashim al Shah. You're seeing the hope of leg, not staying upon this devil either, so quiet man, no more, but they're starting to stay upon the Holy One of Israel in truth now. Hmm. And, and the water, uh, I'm glad you brought that scripture out because I was thinking about that earlier. That word wink means overlook. So you got to fear the Lord even more because now the word has spread across the four corners of the earth. Now there's a standard. Now you know who you are, whether you accept it or not. Now the Lord, so your, your next move or your next decision could be your worst decision mm -hmm. or your best decision. Yeah. So if you go in taking the uh, the serpent's piss, right. that, that, could, that is your worst decision you can make, man. You now uh, uh, are going to be held for your um, your account, your, your, your decision. Yeah. Because when we were younger, we were kids, we were babies. Yeah, we took that. We didn't. Right. No, the Lord winked at it. Right. But now we in these times where the Lord ain't winking at no that no power 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 that. Right. Don't make no decision back then. That's right. It says, verse 31, because he have appointed, and this, this is very important, this is because he have appointed a day in which he will judge the world in righteousness by that man who he have ordained, whereof he have given assurance unto all men, and that he have raised him from the dead. So my Lord, you have a shot. Right? It's gonna come a day when Lord Yahweh Shot comes back. Right? I'll speak on that. Yeah, you know, we, we in those times, man, the Lord has appointed, you, you can tell we in those times the Lord is getting ready to bring that final judgment on this world, man. And uh it, it the scripture says it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of living power. So now the Lord is getting ready to torture majority of our people, those who want to seek him before he puts them to death. So it, it's scripture say as a, as if a as you flee from a bear and a lion met you. Or you lean your hand on the wall and the serpent bit you. So Lord now is bringing our people through tortures, man, before he destroys them because we in that time. And it's like it's like you turn yeah. your back on your high bunch of shot. The Lord like, I'm taking you through more than one thing. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Every time you turn around, you're gonna be catching per hell. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. And you're going to have no sense of direction. You know what I'm uh -huh. saying? I'm not going to give you the understanding of the scriptures. I'm not going to give you the wisdom. I'm not going to keep you stable. So your life is going to be fucking pretty much like a whirlwind. You know what I'm saying? Fucking just all over the place. You know what I'm saying? That's what you get, though, man. That's what you get for falling after the serpent, man. That's right. Listening to Eve. They got Eve pushing the serpent's piss peripheral, yeah, right? Yeah. Every time you turn around, it's Eve, you know what I'm saying, sitting on TV, though, right? Yeah. It's always Eve sitting on TV in a chair or something, right? Giving an interview, right? Yeah, Telling yeah. you what you need to do. You don't need to do it's always Eve, right? So she's gonna have her um part in that lake of fire too, man. It's gonna be beautiful too. You hear the screams and holler, man. Hell yeah. These people. Then it's making a statement what you were saying at the Bible? Yeah, because the scripture said, Blessed is he that readeth and understand the words of his prophecy. The scripture says, She that is my enemy. Right. And our people trust in 
the end of man. Right. So that's why they're taking this man's uh, 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 beetle juice. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, the end you saw, of. You saw beetle juice act. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? All bugged yeah, yeah. out. You would never know. You never know how he gonna act in that second. You know what I'm saying? Right. Man, we be bugging the hell out, man. You don't know right. his head gonna pop off or just mm -hmm. fucking his neck gonna grow long. You don't know, man. You know what I'm saying? That's our, that's our people though, right? Right. Head all popped out, eyes all plugged the hell out. Eyes already big as golf balls, you know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, head spinning. You know what I'm saying? That beetle juice got your head spinning, you know what I'm saying? Hey, I got a question for you, so. This is Jerry, we'll finish that right there, bro. It said, like verse uh, um, 31, the reason why I kept reading is because scripture said he has a, a appointed time. Oh. Going back to uh, Matthew, uh, the 24th yeah. chapter, yeah. but it says, uh, uh, you know, the Son of Man don't even know when he's coming back, yeah. only the Most High. Right. Now, you know, there's a time when yeah. the uh, Heavenly yeah. Father will send his Son back, man, mm -hmm. to cause judgment yeah. upon the earth. And we start seeing the signs, the signs trickle down by him yeah. visiting us. Yeah. Through what? But through called Mother Nature, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. Through uh, 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 pestilence, diseases, yeah. things of that nature. Evil in, times. In, in that germ, so we know the Lord's business okay, place. Yeah, yeah. How much more How now? To what? Repent, drop that old man. The Lord whipped our sins before, but now that the truth is out, hey, you better get on board. You better All get right. on, get on the trunk. Get the on spiritual the trunk. Right. We get on the good foot. Right. right. Bring, uh, that was that was that was good. bring yours out right there. Which one you want? Oh, this is a rock that you got. Okay. All right. It's a rock. Oh, no, it We're gonna bring out a couple more scripts, like three more scripts in there, right? Everybody gotta get some. Okay, bring it out now. Ecclesiastical, 10th chapter, the 8th verse, read. Because of unrighteous dealing. That's how this kingdom was get, gotten, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Unrighteous dealing, man. Mm -hmm. Lies, broken treaties, mm -hmm. broken promises, you know what I'm saying? Which the devil can never keep a promise. I know, right? You know what I'm saying? What? People fail for it, yeah, yeah. so read on. Mm -hmm. Injury, right, and riches got by deceit. That's sleazy all day, right? Mm -hmm. The thief coming to steal, kill, and destroy, right? Okay. And riches gotten by deceit. You got St. John? Yeah. Bring it out right here. St. John 10 and 10. It says, The thief cometh not, but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. That's, that's right. It said, The thief cometh not, but to steal, kill, and destroy. Your friend. It says, The thief. Your best friend. The thief. Your homeboy. <laughs> the thief. Your brother. The thief. Someone that cares about you. The thief. Someone that loves you. The thief. Someone that will lay down their life for you. The thief. The thief, man. Okay? Remember, injuries gotten by deceit. The thief, man. Mm -hmm. What, bro? Cometh not. That's the only thing he coming for. But for to steal. To help. To steal. To cure. To steal. To heal. To steal. Go ahead. And no, no, to help out. To steal. You know, right, right. And to kill. Right, oh, 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 oh. Not to heal. To kill. Damn. Right. And to destroy. See, that's that's his MO. Mm -hmm. The injuries got him by the sea. That's right. That's that's it. But, but what, what, what did the Lord say at the end of that verse? It says it reads on, St. John 10 and 10. I am come that they might have life. That's why the Lord is coming, man. That we might live again. This ain't living. We, we, only thing we're doing right about now is surviving. This ain't living, bitch. Y'all call this living, man? This ain't living. You should be just straight up surviving, yo. Living from check to check, man. Come on, man. Everybody out here living from check to check. Now, you might got, you know what I'm saying, a little stash, put it put away. But let, let, let some shit crash, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Your ass in the same boat as everybody yeah, that's else, man. That's right. We once checked short of fucking getting kicked out, man. That's right. Straight up, man. Miss a week without work. You ain't that's got no right. brothers to help you fucking um, fill the hole. You know what I'm saying? You threw out here, man. Really? So we're, we're merely surviving right about now. That's right. You know what I'm saying? The Lord said he come there, we're going to live again, man. Yeah. That's right. We, we, we don't even know what true, um, life is truly all about, know, man. Right. We, we had, no one has ever left us alone. That's you know right. what I'm saying? Mm. Never, man. Mm. Since we've been, I've said, since we've been shit. 40 years. Yeah. Shit, man. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. yeah. King Solomon, yeah. King David. Yeah. That's yeah. the only yeah. time we understood what life, living was about. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You know. And look what King, had, King David had to do just to right. right. achieve that, man. Had to kill off all these different heathens, man. Yeah. That's gonna have to happen again, right? These heathens are gonna happen. be locked down. That's right. Man. Locked down, chains right. and all that, man. Yeah. And if I can just say, that's the real um, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Man. Right. He saw a lie to, to our people saying that this is this life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness. Right. Man. When it's not that, he, he's a thief. Right. He's here to uh, steal, your, steal your blessing, man. Right. Yeah, kill you Try off. To anyway. Trying to, trying to. You know, he has no, he's, he's not going to do anything conducive to life, man. Right. Everything he's doing is counterproductive to life. That's right. 
knows bro, it. Look, bro. And he knows it. And he knows it. And he knows it. That's why he's known as the devil. The deceiver. Right. Right. Come on, man. Right. That right. man know he's deceiving every damn body. Think he don't know it? Right. Our people just don't know it. We know it though. But we're not ignorant of Satan's devices. Right. You got it, bro. That was the end of that, bro? No, more. It reads on St. John 10 and 10. It says, I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. We ain't got to worry about nothing when the Lord come. We have things in abundance Max. when the Lord come. We ain't got nothing right now, man. Mm. You know what I'm saying? The Lord said, be really, be um, willing to lose it all That's for my right. name's sake. That's be ready. Right. Be right. ready. It ain't, this shit is nothing, man. Know, right? You need to come on, man. These chains, man. Yeah, all right. You know what I'm saying? A little, uh, little, uh, little drip or whatever. Uh, uh, but come on, man. When the Lord come, when the Lord right. come, rip that right. shit up and throw it down on the fucking ground, bro. Right. You know what I'm saying? These garments, rip it up. You know what I'm saying? Spit on it and throw it on the ground when the Lord come, man. That's right. Because ain't going to be nothing, man. Right. I ain't going to rip it up. You know what I'm saying? The brothers, you know what I'm saying? Made us or whatever. So we ain't going to do that. But as far as in everything else in this world, you know what I'm saying? Um, pretty much uh, consists of. Take Throw that shit on the fucking yeah. ground, y'all. You ain't taking nothing. Know, nothing right. going in the cherry. I know, right? Right. Ben right. Cabal was talking about that earlier. Nothing right. going in the cherry. That ain't the bodies that we in. Going in the cherry. Right. Leaving everything behind. Everything here in Babylon going to burn, damn it. Right. And rightfully so, because everything is defiled anyway. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right. I got a quickie. Let's into all this. Yeah. Isaiah. Yeah, we're going to go right back to that, bro. Isaiah okay. 16 and 11. Therefore, thy gates shall be opened continually. Ooh. Right, right. The gates represent where the leaders at, man. You know what I'm saying? Right. The entering in of the city. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be open continually, why though, bro? It says they shall not be shut day nor night. We ain't got nothing to worry about, man. All right? You shut your gates, you know what I'm saying, of your city when you're worried about something. Yep. You know what I'm saying? When you're worried about your enemy, right? Our gates ain't gonna be shut, man. Can we even worry about